everyone! Hello and welcome to episode four of Star Wars Desperate Gamble. We are here. We're we're ready to gamble. Um I I don't think that's what we do here, but uh I guess we roll dice occasionally. Um how's Virtually. how's it going, friends? What's what's new? I have lots of plans for you today and I'm very excited about those plans. But uh how how have your weeks been, Andrew? Been up to anything cool? Do you do anything? Uh, no, noteworthy. I heard about a playing, raid, bo raid boss. Yeah. Playing video games. Yeah, we we beat the the last boss of the raid. I got a new hideout in Path of Exile, and I decorated it. And it's like a cool ruin, ancient ruin that's all like overgrown that I made by placing little doodads. I had to like hand place bricks one by one to make paths and stuff. Which which raid are you playing in now? Uh, we did Castle Denathria. We beat the last boss on Heroic, Ooh, which was on Heroic. pretty cool. It was a difficult fight. It was fun. Hell yes. Congrats. Ahead of the curve. Winning at... at yeah, I am at, officially uh, ahead of the curve. Win winning at, at WoW. That's the that's the only thing you need, basically. Um, uh, yeah, they're going to send me the, a check for a million dollars because yeah, I beat yeah, yeah. Mathrius. Beat, beat World of Warcraft, yeah. It's done now. Yeah, It's over. Uh, are you plan? Are you are you is your group planning to do like the mythic stuff? Like when you? Yeah, we were talking about that because there's always the, with groups like this, there's always the concern that like once you hit the goal, the like stated goal, people leave. That people yeah. then kind of yeah disperse or kind of the group dissolves. So we're we're figuring out what we're. Gonna You're figuring do. out what the next stated goal is. Keep a stated goal mm -hmm. in mind. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You know, you always want to be striving for something with these kind of groups. That's what so, yeah. If you already won, then how do you? <laughs> is it like going <laughs> from from the nationals to the olympics when you know they, maybe yeah yeah kind i of. say knowing full well how the great structure works. <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. No, dave knows know. exactly how it works yeah you can win more than once yeah yeah also multiple, true multiple victories super just keep work. pinning medals onto just yeah. just don't go super hard don't go like world first mythics or server first mythics <laughs> it fucking i would sucks. never want to do that i that heard someone like, was Hold on, I think Dave is saying that because they don't want anyone to challenge them. Oh, that's <laughs> true. I haven't done it for a I long see. time. Have it, but you've done it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we did. We did do it. Like the last half of a raid. It, uh, what was it? Throne of Storms. Back in Mist. Oh, back in Mist of Pandaria. Yeah. And then Siege of Orgrimmar. We were. Cool. Good shit. Like I've never been at the hours, I've never been at, a week. I've never been at the forefront Ugh. of any video game, but what I can tell you is I'm slowly getting better at League of Legends. <laughs> yes. I saw a tweet. You moved out of I uh, know I didn't, but Siobhan is ahead of me, so she got her gold promo, oh. so I'm still in silver, yeah. So Elf my, is riding Siobhan's coattails. My partner is better at it than me. Um He's the carry in your relationship. Yeah, you know, but I'm the carry in the lane, so that's all that matters. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how's, uh, how's it going for the rest of you? I know I just interrogated Andrew about their video game accomplishments, but anybody, anybody got anything cool going on? Not much. I, um, honestly don't have very much in the way of updates. I mean, I am slowly but surely, like, chipping away at my, my altered carbon supplement. Uh, oh, yeah, because you're writing, you're writing some stuff, right? I am. I am. <laughs> I am like it's it's one of those things projects that I've been like this close to being finished with for like months now, but like it's just kind of the slow cr scraping crawl to the finish line at this point. I'm getting ready to start spinning up play tests and things like that. Um, but I still have a bit of a bit of work to do on some stat blocks. But yeah, I'm having a good time, and uh, finally starting to carve out space mentally to actually like really concentrate on it. That's great. I'm. I mean, like having a project that you're almost at the end of. Like that's one of those. Like you know what I mean. Like you've been scraping out a bunch of stuff on it. One of those feelings that. Uh, I always feel like I need motivation to finish these things. You know what I mean. But I guess the you, last you, you leg is usually the most you, difficult. You probably have that based on like that you're doing it for something, right? Like. Well, what's what's interesting is that like. I never imagined that I would ever be a person who produced content for tabletop RPG yeah. aside from actually sitting at a table and playing games. So when I when I saw this opportunity and kind of put myself forward for it and then was asked, hey, do you actually really want to do this? 
like I kind of sat back and went like I've never done anything like this before and like and I told them I was like you're taking a, a chance on me like being like very new to all of this and they're like yeah and they did and now I'm like a good chunk of the way into my very first you know tabletop role-playing game manuscript uh and trying to like wrap my brain around the fact that there's a going to be a piece that is sold by a major tabletop RPG publisher that's going to have my name on it. It's, Dang, that's awesome. <laughs> that's I guess cool. if you're going to do it, do it. I big. mean, go 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 hard, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. If you're gonna go. Dream. If you're gonna go, go nice. hard. Yeah, wow. it's still nothing compared to like a certain Darrington Press game producer, but you know. <laughs> Are we making allusions Yo. to game here? Yeah. Funniest thing though, I <laughs> went and pre-ordered it at my local game store. Mm-hmm. And like, I hope they have no idea who I am. It it being what, Gabe? Tell us, you know. Uka like... Toa, the upcoming Darrington Press game that is the first part of the uh, string of games coming from Darrington Press. Um, it's it's a it's a fun game that can be either cooperative or competitive. Um, one of the reasons I liked working on it was because it didn't feel like it's it's the kind of game that if you lose. Uh, I feel like the feeling is I want to play again rather than I'm mad that I lost. Okay, so you got kind of like a yeah, like a go like a go again mentality. That's, yeah, that's yeah, because there's there's a little bit of random chance that it's like it you get you get the feeling of like oh it wasn't my fault that I lost it was something that the game did randomly. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's cool. You might say it's the Dark Souls <laughs> of. <laughs> <laughs> maybe oh, except God. there's a there's like tentacles ah uh, yes comparing things to dark souls oh, the I dark souls of comparisons yeah. <laughs> well it's it's that. also a roguelite i really like roguelikes i think i think that's one of my favorite <laughs> yeah, video game yeah. genres actually well, Just I mean, another sounds, one of those things that gets thrown around say, a lot it, it sounds like it sounds like you've got a kind of like the same kind of tone but yeah that's awesome too uh, basically i think the, the long and short of 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 my whole thing and and i guess kind of relates also to gabe who was uh, honestly a bigger name than i was before he got picked up by Darrington press is just that ivan van norman finds finds talent everywhere he looks he's just <laughs> no he's just like the kind of person who looks at it, at someone and goes i see all the potential you have and i'm going to like hire you based on that's the potential I mean, that i see that's what you want right? like that's, it's that's a really good point because like that's even, like 100 percent who ivan is as a person i've even had conversations and like he's like do you do you want like feedback on this i'm like yes please make me better at doing this if i did it wrong please tell me and then he'll give you like a genuine response and none of it is ever to make you like feel worse it's literally to only make you feel better and i'm like oh my god yeah no one ever gave me this advice everyone's always busy but then i also realized i don't think he sleeps i think if he, anyone i don't think he does him, either he's he 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 runs two publishing companies and is a full-time dad like this man i don't think he understands that what sleep like is that, that sounds yeah. like, a, like a hell of a lot for sure um how how about how about you dave well, anything he's a vampire going on this week Fucking Strahd. speaking of vampires i got some blood taken this week by the doctors this hey. morning just as as you said it i was like oh yeah that was blood i think tests. that happened to me I, uh, like the, I picked up bravely. Uh, bravely I picked up bravely default too on a recommendation yeah. from Dave uh, from things. the last like week or so, and uh, I'm 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 pretty happy with it. It's like a comfy thing to play while I'm just you know doing nothing else. It's good. It's good. Go to bed, play a couple hours, just lie in there, switch. Yeah. Oh my god, Monster Hunter comes out for the Switch this yeah, month. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. soon. Uh, Oh, I don't care about anything else. That's all I want. I want my dog, and I want. Ah, uh, you won't see me for like two days. No, I what will see you, you Gabe, because we're gonna. Well, I will see you, Gabe, because I'm gonna stream it and we're gonna hunt monsters together. So deal. I'm in. Right? <laughs> like, yeah. Me, me, like, me, me, yeah, me. Like, come oh, on. Kid. We can get a squad together. It's oh fine. God! Screw everything else. That's all. I what, care it, what does everyone mean? What are your main weapons? I don't mean nothing. <laughs> uh, the the gun. <laughs> Mm. Oh, mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. The big one or the, the small one? No, the big one. Yeah, that that yeah. one. That was the one I used yeah. last last uh last game for sure. Uh that that oh, and the exciting. that and the long sword. 
Um, I was sometimes uh, the the mantis person hopping around. With oh that my thing. god, yes! I'm obnoxious, mantis. and I know it. I just want to be an anime character, so that weapon was made for me. Mm-hmm. I just mostly I was just like, what can I do at range that feels impactful? And the heavy gun was like the only, the only. Uh, That's a huge answer. point. Yeah. Will uh, y'all play with me if I play hunting horn? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, definitely. That's I mean, one day. That's what you. Want that's hunting. what you want. Yeah. <laughs> One day I will own a Switch, but the the Wham. drought of Switch availability continues. Yo, yeah. yeah. Sis- console console availability sucks. I've been looking right for now. a PS5 for months. It's never gonna happen, so I've just given up now. I mean, maybe you'll have better luck next year when people are back at their jobs and don't have time to play <laughs> games anymore. Yeah. But like that's the biggest thing. That's the reason why there you can't get anything is because everybody's stuck at home and so they just keep buying them. Like a like- a Switch or or like would you have a Switch late? I don't have a. I don't want to switch light because I want it to be something I can stream with if I ever decide yep. to stream with it. That's yeah. smart. So, like, so if you get a switch light, you can't stream. Um. So mm-hmm. yeah, like. And I want to like I want to I, I okay so I don't actually play a lot of this, the games that most people play on consoles or 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 a PC or or anything. I'm I'm just hipster like that you know um uh, yeah but so, like i just so want I, I i only want to switch because i want to be able to play undertale everywhere i go mm. i love undertale mm-hmm. it's one of my very favorite so, games i was thinking to myself you know what game would be really great to play on the switch that i that i can't and it's loop hero loop hero i would love to just put mm. on switch like play on switch and not on the pc but you know that's that's how it is uh maybe one day we, maybe one day i will get it do you want to address real quickly the i mean uh, we're we, we roll 20 is working to fix a uh, connection issue uh and we're just hanging out until we yeah. know what we can do and we can RP, in case in case we can there's RP like no without episode. some dice rolls don't worry about that oh, i guess That's we fun. could mm-hmm. i don't you know what it doesn't stop me at all that's all i have to say i will forge onwards mm-hmm. until there are dice my my physical Star Wars dice are still at my old. Yeah, uh, I don't I don't have any. Unfortunately. My old, <laughs> my old place, and I have been avoiding going to reclaim them because I just don't want to go back there. But I'll probably uh, try to make space to do that in the next week or so. So speaking of random Switch things, occasionally I get the the vibe that I want to get better at Super Smash Bros. I play like three rounds and then I give up. That's that's my experience with that game. <laughs> it's hard. It's a hard game. There's a very steep learning curve for online. And people don't think that's true because it's Dave, like... The learning curve is only if you're trying to be good at it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'm not trying to be good at it. <laughs> game's just I, like have great, rebels, I have a great time online. Rebels and I, I make other people feel good online. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, that's one of the things... That, win. That's one of the things that me and my partner have adopted during the like League of Legends ranked stuff is like... If you lose, you're performing a public service for everyone on the enemy team because they have won and they all feel good. <laughs> oh my god, that's so true. <laughs> so, so technically, I feel, I feel if you weird, suck yeah. and you're playing the game, oh, yeah. you're actually contributing to a positive environment, like mostly because you're most you're at most upsetting four people and making five people happy. So, Dave, I'm here so that you can be even better. That's yeah. I'm here to lose. This is all assuming that you play as hard as you can. Obviously, you do like don't, don't use this mentality to sabotage. And now, <laughs> now I'm secretly, secretly a shark, Dave. I'm actually secretly an expert. <laughs> at this. I'm a Kirby main. Let's go. <laughs> oh God. Um, yeah. I think that we should definitely do. Oh, yeah. uh, if we ever like want to just take a break from the show, we should just get together and just mm. play smash for everyone i mean just it would do be a smash day it would be, it would yeah, be easy, the, it would be easy. <laughs> the indoor recess crew do a bunch of you know like video game stuff yeah but can you imagine trying to get this crew together at any other time like during the week for anything because i can't <laughs> like we can hardly we hardly talk you know <laughs> i like all of you very much on mondays and fridays yeah exactly <laughs> well <laughs> But, it was but, worth it for Dave's reaction. But but <laughs> Prince, put Omni Brogbo in Smash, you cowards. 
I mean, mm-hmm. with the roster as it is at the moment, yeah. I don't see why not. But yeah, why not? Is it they shirtless should have Sephir- like uh, Calamari on shirtless this. Sephiroth. Is he? Yes. In? Yeah, Sephiroth's yes. the newest one for sure. Yeah, but is there a shirtless Secondary. skin? There is. Yeah, there is a shirtless one. Yeah. Thought so. Yeah. There are half of the skins are shirtless. Yeah. Hmm. Come yeah, it's just changing his pants, right? Yeah. <laughs> God, if I just wore my leather pants, put my hair silver. Yeah, you're good. The there you go. Ben, get a, get when a, when get are a, we gonna get it? Get a when really, are we gonna get, get it? Gabe, you also I, have to have a really long sword, okay? Like, I, oh, I do. I do. I have. Okay, all right. <laughs> like, it's gotta be at least six feet long and really thin I'm, and stupid. Uh, I'm, I'm waiting for that TikTok video. Where is it? We should have had it yesterday. <laughs> Sidey hasn't earned that yet. Okay, all right. Yeah, sure. Okay. But they never will, so I'll probably do it anyways. Mm. I get, I mean, there's nobody, like, I live in the woods, so, like, the only people they're going to see are, like, Bambi and their mom, so it doesn't matter. I mean, that's I, true, yeah. My neighbors have seen me do the weirdest shit, man. Walk down with my boxers and my dog, and I'm pretty my neighbors sure. have goats and cows. And oh, that. side in your boxes? Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, they're shorts. They I'm cover bad. things. I'm pretty, yeah. sure, I'm, pretty sure that, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that the neighbors that I have here... Uh, don't like Siobhan and I because all of our neighbors are like 70 years old and they're like oh. they like fastidiously take care of like their house and like their lawn and like everything and occasionally we forget for like a week and that lawn's like a little bit a little bit long and then I get out there and do it and I always get these dirty looks when I'm when I'm like cutting the grass you're you bringing know? down the quality I'm of bringing the down the quality of the neighborhood yeah I'm okay. sorry I'm sorry we we got a letter we got a letter on we got, we got a letter on the door from one of them at one point it was like you have to do this or we'll report you and I'm like but we we are report I'm just you not to as, who just not as like you the guys homeowners, have a homeowners association? association I don't know I don't know. I, I have no idea but I if was, you care so much oh, do it your fucking selves if you um, want to know about an absolutely mad level of homeowners association ridiculousness do not ever move to Georgia they are <laughs> they are. They are ruthless. Their okay. homeowners associations right. in Georgia are no joke. A lot of it, be, uh, a lot of the reason why is because there are some neighborhoods that are historical neighborhoods, and so like the the demands on like uh, yes, of upkeep course. and stuff like that are super high. Historical neighborhoods. There's there's a lot of restrictions on like even like historical houses and such. And it's people always talk about wanting to live in it because it's pretty, but I like you can't even really hang anything in your you house or anything. Yep. You can't touch anything. Like you cannot make any major renovations without like whole heck of a lot of rigmarole i mean georgia in general has a lot of very strict rules not just about homes but like you can't even like leave your kids at home alone like oh, or in a car by themselves yeah. or like you're not allowed to leave them alone at all if you take if you go to the grocery store you can't even leave them in your car if you go to an atm you cannot leave them in your car they must come with you everywhere and i think it's because they like at some point in georgia they had a really like it things were tough so yeah yeah, like Home Alone came out and everybody was copying it and it was all over the place. Yeah, my, my house is like the lowest grade but listed, so everything is a pain in the ass to get changed. So I know that feel. I know that feel. I just want to talk about how pretty my mask is. It's so pretty. It is. Is that pattern or has it got things on it? Yeah, it has black flowers. Oh, nice. That is a cool pattern. Cool. <gasps> yeah, that's good fabric. I saw today, I saw today, no word of a lie, uh, as I was walking past the train station, I saw some youths. I saw some <laughs> youths. The youths. With their masks. And someone had a Nahago mask. And I was like, holy shit. They exist, and someone had one, and it's. I was just gobsmacked. I had to react, so I didn't. I just kept walking. But like, uh, some people have weird amounts of like self confidence. Weirds me out. I mean, you know, you sometimes you just gotta go for it. You gotta shoot your shot about like what whatever. What is self confidence? You know? Um. <laughs> I mean, we're all on camera right now professing our role-playing game ability, you know, like, I think self-confidence is... Yeah, one's one's this and one's wearing hentai on your face. I mean, listen, there are weirder weirder things you can do, but sometimes you just gotta go for it. I know somebody like that. I'm a a performer. I require constant validation. (laughs) 
Yeah. I mean, validation is not the same as not self-confidence. I think, like, being told you're doing good is different than, like, you know, the, the like, inner belief in your, you know, your not give a shitness. I think that's, like, different. I have a question. Yeah. Because I see Dave chewing on that all the time, and I don't even know what it is. I'm very curious about it. It's a thing for chewing on, I think, Dave. Am I right? Yeah, it's a specific chewing on thing. It's, um... An ADD thing. It helps Ooh, to cool. concentrate. It looks a little bit like an, uh, a Lego on the other side. <laughs> it is a Lego on the other side, in fact. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It just... Cool. It's nice because it... Helps me pay attention a little bit better. No, I'm all here for coping mechanisms. Yeah, like whatever I think, works. I think they're awesome. You're not destroying pens constantly, so yeah, it's helpful yeah, to you, right? Yeah, exactly. That's, that's kind of what it was at one point. And one of my friends was like, did you know this was a thing? I was like, are you sure it's not just for babies? And they were like, no. I was like, okay, fine. Yeah. yeah <laughs> and even if it were, if it works, it freaking works. Yeah. Yeah. Buying it, though, that <laughs> was pretty old. Pen lid desolation, says Pleasure Nerd. Desolation? That's a strong word. For the remo like the removal of pen lids, for sure. Yeah. Yes. I used this desolation rather than decimation, which is one of the few things I'm still really stick up the ass about not being technically what it means. I don't know why. I, mean, I wish I could just. It's not one of those care. words. It's one I of those do. words that has changed over time, right? Because originally decimation no. is, decimation is like you kill a tenth of the people, right, or yeah. whatever. Um, yeah, if you're if you're in the Roman Legion, Roman Legion then thing. by all means yeah. be pedantic about it. But otherwise, it has a different. But meaning. like, that's, yeah, but otherwise true. the meaning has that's changed. True. Yeah, <laughs> it, Gabe is looking at like, like Gabe is looking like he, he has not heard this. Do you want to hear about this, Gabe? Sure. Okay. The fuck is this? So it was that like was a, the whole thing. It was like a it was like a punishment, wasn't it, for like a disobedience in the yes, Roman Legion? Yes, it was a disciplinary was, measure was in like, the Roman was Legion. Was like if you if your legion like or your group like didn't perform well or like ran away or didn't follow orders or whatever, they'd line you up and kill every tenth guy, uh, and that was what decimation means. Like is yeah. to be decimated. Deci. Ten. Ten deci. Ah. Uh. So she when you say that there is that, that a civilization has experienced decimation, that means every one in ten person has died. I mean, right now it means a lot different, right? It means yeah, it's like a lot like bigger that, and stuff. That's kind of the spirit of it. It's like yeah. a tenth of the population has died, they were decimated. Yeah. So someone's like, I'm gonna octimate you. They're gonna like kill every they kill every person. eighth guy. Yeah. Yeah. Or sextimate you. Or use, you. Or use uh, Sephiroth's limber break. Okay. That sounds like something else, Andrew. Yeah. I just and yet, mm, and yet, and yet, it's not. Oh yeah, they come there like, oh, I'm here for the sextimation. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get him. Oh no. Oh <laughs> you no. Leave your keys on in the bowl on the table. But it's gonna <laughs> melt them down when I kill you. Oh, harsh. <laughs> we take we take harsh. all the precious metals from them and use them for other things. It's like. A, consol a consolidation of resources. Was the one ring a precious metal when it was in Gollum's hand? Oh, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a precious metal anyway, right? Because it's gold. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but... oh, Aki, I get, that, I get the pain, joke, but I'm just trying to be. Yeah. The pain that Aki went through, I, I feel. Ugh. Consider yourself. How many of there are this? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, syncomated. <laughs> Pentamated. <laughs> syncomated. Pent Pent yeah, because Cinco is, is. Oh, damn is it, it's Spanish. five in Spanish. Ah. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it would be, oh. uh, be Penta. Penta kill. <laughs> Penta kill. Penta kill. Not That's a, that sounds like some some ridiculous person's call sign in like a. An F, an F, uh, PS. I'm it's sure. a good like gamer tag. I'm yeah. sure. I'm sure it is because in League of Legends, it's when you manage to kill all five of the enemy team. Yeah, isn't That's there a amazing. League of Legends band? Uh, it is also a, yes, a, lore, a heavy yeah, metal band. in lore League of Legends band called Pentakill. Yes, correct. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> I'm their newest fan. You should. Like, <laughs> they have some great, some great heavy metal tunes. It's like KDA, but for heavy metal. So, uh, Elf, if I were to intimate something to you, would that mean that I was killing all of your I mean, intimates? I 
How does language work? I don't know. It's, stupid. it's, it's a great it's, question. It's, Especially lang- language English. is ridiculous and makes no sense. It's Especially wild. English. They, English they, is yeah, like just dog's a, breakfast. Like complete bastardization of so many languages. Is dog's breakfast? Yep. I wish I had heard you wrong because I'm more confused now. <laughs> Why is everyone quiet? Explain this. Have <laughs> you ever heard the phrase or the expression a dog's breakfast? No. My dog eats very well. Go on. <laughs> Just means it's like a mess. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. accurate. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like everywhere on the floor, spread out all over the place, yeah. you know. I mean, your dog definitely seems like a messy eater. Yeah, he is. I'm a messy eater. Like father like son. <laughs> you see that dog on her eye. Oh. What? Look at it, Popper. Hello, baby. My cat finally Hello, was baby. allowed his cone off today. And oh, he's been so still. happy he's just been yelling at us all day. Which is <laughs> not how we'd like him to express Gabe. happiness. I say that Gabe's dog rolls all the dice today. We roll all of our checks for today. Oh my goodness, look at this baby. No, he has something to say. He's he's like leaning. I, he... Oh. Hi. Why? Hi. Oh Why? My gosh. Sorry. I see the old baby. No, this is not. Nah, this is his steal things mood. I know this. <laughs> yeah, up to no good. I love that your dog is a, is a thief. He took one of my knives the other day. Like it was sheathed, but it was scary. I'm that like, was, oh my god. That was 100% gave is that gif. Of yes. the kid running around the trampoline. Yeah, there's like, well, there's like, there's like, a, there's like an animation of like a a dog shaking around a thing like a Dark Souls boss, and then people joke about it, but like, no, this, I keep Go my on. weapon in a chest, not because I'm worried about people, because of him, because like the handles <laughs> probably feel good, so it's like, oh, <laughs> yeah, and then I'm chasing him, and he's like, <laughs> yeah, you don't want dog, you don't want dogs running around with knives. That's how you end up with giant wolves with swords. So that's just that's what you I'm know. saying. Mm, yeah. Sounds cool though. Now I'm kind of here for it. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it's the game's it's like, one of the it's like, yeah, that's things. bad. No, that's cool. Okay. Oh, it's cool, but it's so sad. You're like. Have I right. told you lately, Gabe? If it's a progression I boss, love you. I gotta do it, but I don't want it. Now he's hiding under my bed, and I'm pretty sure he I stole something, but him. I'm not going under there. I love your dog. Because like when he when he gets under there, there's enough space for him to like he looks at me. If I try to grab him, he presses his arms to the roof and then pushes himself down so I can't move him. I uh he's a clever boy. I, I have to Stretch. I have to keep the door closed when I do RPG stuff these days because the, the cats just just come in here. If I'm in here, both the cats want to be in here all the time. They're just like, there's people in here. If I'm not in here, they don't give a shit. They just like never come into this room. But uh, otherwise, they're just here to meow and jump on stuff and get in my way. They want your attention. Yep, yep. Can you really blame nice them? to have a cat that actually there. cares about you. I, are- <laughs> <laughs> I, I love Gabe's dog and want to give him a hug. Is is he a lab, a Labrador retriever? What is so he, he is a yellow lab, golden retriever, beagle mix. What? A, oh, that's a disaster! All mixed yes, up together. Yes, it is. That's that's the the beagle part is the thief. That's it. <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't bark at animals. I don't know anything about which dogs. is a beagle trait. They usually are like super loud bear types. They he like... barks at people that use technology. Can uh can all of you please just try and see if you can get into the roll to like refresh? I I am in the roll twenty. I haven't refreshed it or touched it. I have attempted to do a roll in it, and the roll didn't work. I'm just I'm um, just you know we're getting to a point where things are sort of repairing. I just want to make sure that we're. I have connected to the initial page at least. Yeah. But... I'm I'm here, and I I don't want to refresh because I'm afraid. I'm you should you refresh. It needs, to, it needs to be refreshable. Yeah. Oh. Okay, cool. I will refresh then, and hopefully. Awesome. All right, I tried to roll though, and nothing happened. Yeah. Let me, let me Randomizing try. dice rolls. I'm on the page. I'm gonna try to do a roll. I'm gonna I'm try. And, I'm gonna try and do a thing. Yeah, I'm having the same. Yeah, issue. No rules for me. I was having that issue actually, but I don't. I don't know. We shouldn't talk about that. Seems really dumb. I mean, it's question. okay. It's okay. Like we're trying to we're trying to get the game going, and so. It's oh, right. it was. It was. I have this issue, and Bunny was like. This, uh, okay, and then I fixed it. And I was stressing so badly because I had to cancel a week because I couldn't fix it myself. 
And she was just like, do this thing. And I was like, oh, okay. Oh, and yeah. Looked. All right. It's amazing. So we're not, we're not fully, we're not fully operational yet, but we stay on target and we're almost there. You know, the, the computer is, the computer is zoning in uh, <laughs> towards the target there. zone. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you. That was a series. That was a string of Star Wars quotes just happened there. Yeah, I mean, it was like all from the same scene too. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> stupid, almost there guy staring into his st stupid targeting computer when there's Tie Fighters behind him. Stop looking at your targeting computer and dodge, you idiot! <laughs> Listen, just don't tell me what is, to do. He was trying. Someone. He was very, very tunnel visioned, and you know, focused on his mission. And, you know, sometimes that's a good thing and sometimes it's a bad thing because you become unaware of your surroundings. Oh, yeah. So this is my reminder to chat to never tunnel vision on anything too hard because if you lose track of your surroundings, you might get marked. I mean, me me, me saying that and then thinking to myself, yeah, but a Y-Wing couldn't dodge a TIE fighter shot anyway in complete nerd fashion. Uh... Y-Wings are an interesting design. They seem very comfortable to me. Y wings, yeah. y wings are very fat is what they are they, they look cool but you're like why aren't those just attached to the side and everyone else like so it makes a y shape there's no good reason i was like okay i guess sure. it's always aesthetics first for star wars yeah, stuff yeah that's true uh okay uh, I'm, I'm trying i'm trying a thing okay. we're gonna spin the api back up just in case it's the api mm -hmm. that's failing uh, and uh, and try that. Wonderful. Just because the website seems to be moving, if a little slowly. Um, da -da. But it is, and I am enjoying you, the company of oh, all of you. Oh, oh, yeah. Time. This is not. This is not. A yeah. problem. it's not a problem. Yeah, this yeah is we great. just kind of got is... to the time when we normally start, so we're just pushing all the buttons. Try oh some, my god, a roll came through. Try some dice rolls, friends. See what we do. <laughs> Uh. Oh, okay, great. Perfect. Two despairs on that roll. Oof. Yeah. That's hard. Hopefully it doesn't count. Uh, okay, I think we're we're in a good zone. Uh, cool. I'm cool. so good at lying. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, I've not seen a despair come up to... before. That's a cool icon. Oh, can we draw? Can we roll now? I think so. I just said try oh, some shit. rolls. <laughs> Coolio, I need... I'm so sorry I missed that because my gap is twanked. And it's all good. I don't know if I actually have enough XP to upgrade anything yet. I might not. I have 20, but I think I'm going to need more than that to upgrade the skills I want to upgrade. No, you, it would be very unlikely a skill upgrade would be more than 20 unless it's off class. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, one more time? It would be very unlikely for a skill upgrade to cost more than 20 Unless it's off class. Oh, well, then I need to figure out what I'm going to spend. I, I Eventually, I'm going to be good at leveling myself up in this game and understanding how point spends work. But for the yeah. time being, I don't. Okay, know. cool. It seems like things are working. Um, yeah, I got a success. Yeah. Thanks, for, thanks for bearing with us, friends. Uh, like any website, Roll20 is not 100% up all the time. Things happen, and we were just hanging out until until we're good. And see, it took like 20 minutes, no problem. The sacred Roll20 bloop, indeed. Uh, okay. So, zoning in on our actual uh, situation, as it were. Um... I believe the last thing that happened with you, all four of you in this like imperial overrun imperial uh, ruins like laboratory, uh, was that you um, was that you failed to prize a restraining bolt off an imperial security droid. Uh, if I scroll Sounds back up in right. my scroll back up in my rolls here to the like rolls from a while ago before I started testing things for the GM stream. Uh, there's a, mecha a mechanics roll by Omni Brogbo that had no no successes. So I think the last thing that has happened is that you have failed to prize a restraining bolt off of uh, RST3, the uh, security droid. Now, oh. Ma Mabel had used some like Imperial jargon to get them to sort of stand down generally, but I think messing with the <laughs> like the actual droid itself, uh, elicits a certain response uh, from, you know, uh, mandated orders. Um, I don't like that. 
So we're probably going to need to roll initiative here. Uh, and then we'll see how it all shakes out. Okay, okay. Um, are we prepared Dead? or unprepared? Yeah. Uh, I think this is a, a prepared situation. I mean, the droid is like right there. He's not getting a jump on you or anything like that, so. Yeah. Mine are the same. I just figured I'd ask. I am very cool. Ace initiative again. I never see it. It's uh, in combat, combat towards the top. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I rolled the wrong cool then, I guess. Yeah. Try again. Probably same same thing, I think. No, yep. came through nope. properly More. this time. I got I, better. Okay. All right, all right. Uh, let me check my initiative tracker here. Okay, so I have four PC initiatives of you all rolled. Yes. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, and then I need to roll my NPC initiative. Bloop. There we go. Uh, and so uh, it begins. RST3's eyes flash that red. Um, like there's a little bit of like a uh, jerking motion as he reaches towards the arm that's like trying to prise the bolt off of him. Uh, and says something like, uh, you know, unofficial maintenance, you know, being conducted, like, uh, will restrain with non-lethal force. Uh, and, oh, that's good. And, like, <laughs> steps forward to fucking slap you, basically. Oh. Um, so, it is PC, PC, NPC, PC, PC. You guys get to choose who, wor who works when. The droid looks like they are going to attack things. Can we go to the tabletop of late? We can. I was just setting things up. Okay. So, while I understand the importance of doing violence to a thing to make it stop doing violence, I'm currently in close combat with the droid. All of you are all of, all, of, all of you are either with within engaged or short distance. Uh, I think Omni is engaged. I don't know if anybody else was close enough to be like within a melee range of RST3. Feel free to like narrate if you are. Um, yeah, like, Mabel was just kind of standing yeah, you were, nearby, you were, but not directly. You were kind of at a distance being authoritative. Um, mm -hmm. if I remember yeah, correctly. I was nowhere near that thing. Okay, so was... everybody else, this whole room is short range. You know what I mean? You'd have to leave the yeah. room to get out of short range. So Right, I'm just saying that I was definitely not right up on. Cool, so right. Omni, Omni is currently engaged with uh, RST3, and then the rest of you are at a short range somewhere in the room, uh, standing a little further back. Um... You get to choose who goes when, obviously. Um, so as a group, decide who's going to roll first and so forth. It doesn't look like RST3 is like raising a blaster or anything. They've like stated that they are going to act non-lethally. Um, so, you know, take that into consideration if you want to. Uh, if it's by choice or not, who knows? They look a little overgrown. So maybe their blaster is non-functioning. It's hard to say. Yeah. Um, so, who's, so who's going first? One maneuver, and then. So I'm just, I'm just trying to remember. It's one maneuver per turn, and one maneuver, one action. You can turn an mm -hmm. action into a maneuver if you want to. It's like five e, a little bit. Right. Okay. You also have incidentals, but they're incidental. So. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um. I would love to get out of engaged. Okay, if so you want don't to, mind. You want to take a maneuver to like jump back? Yeah, I would like to take a um, maneuver to move. Okay, so you move to short range with one maneuver. Yes. And take cover is one, isn't it? Uh, it is, yeah. If you want to like dive behind a table or or like uh, behind the the sort of like window divider of the corridor that I narrated around. The yeah, place. I'll I'll go for two strain to get a um a take cover. Yep, sounds good. Take two strain, take cover. It feels like a strenuous situation. That gives um, you another maneuver, but you still have an action if you use the strain. Um, you can use you can use two maneuvers if you strain basically, and then the action is still available. Okay, I can use the action to move, can't I? And then the maneuver to take cover. Yeah, you can, if you want to do it that way. And that okay, way, that I won't way, bother. That way you don't have then. to take any strain, yeah. So, yep, 
I'm still getting my head around the combat stuff. I no, appreciate it's okay. That. Yeah, yeah. No, again, this is, like, this is like a very early combat in the game. We're taking it, like, we're learning, taking it slow. I only have one NPC in this combat, so, you know, do do what you want. Yeah. All right, um, I've ran away. I'm a big, scared baby. Uh, okay, <laughs> who's our second PC to act? Who's who's acting next? I'll go. I'm, I'm really just going to fire at the droid. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, short range. Uh, so let me set the difficulty... And then you can fire. Are you firing with the stun setting, or are you firing lethally? Uh, I'll go stun setting. Okay. Yeah, stun setting does work on droids, uh, especially droids that have strain. <laughs> so, um, short range is one. Oh, you got that sick gun, didn't you, from the last combat? Uh, yeah. He has yeah. a defense. Okay. Yeah, roll it up. Okay, two success and an advantage. All right, two successes with the C def, uh, stun setting, damage five plus two is seven damage, uh, and you can use that advantage for whatever you want, like one advantage wise. Uh, to, uh, I'm to gonna get, reduce one of my strains. I was gonna say to give you a reminder, you can use it to reduce strain. You can add a blue die to a ne the next allied active characters check, that kind of thing. Uh, yep, I'm reducing strain. Okay, so uh, and that'll be my turn. Uh, good. Okay, so he takes... He doesn't look like he takes a sh ton of damage from that, you know what I mean? Like, the, the blaster bolt seems to, like, disperse... The, like, blue ring of blaster fire, which is, like, the stun setting, if you've watched the... If you've watched A New Hope, you've seen the stun setting, which is the, like, circle of laser that hits Princess Leia uh, from those stormtroopers. Um, it sort of disperses a little bit over uh, RSC-3's armor, uh, but they're made for fighting, you know what I mean? So they, they clearly have, like, a little bit of defense uh, sort of built in uh, to their to their armor. Uh, okay, it is RSC3's turn. Uh, they are going to step forward and get into... Who would you say is sort of, like, narratively the closest? Because I don't think Omni is, because Omni is, like, run back and taking cover behind something. But Krino, I guess Krino shot at... Yeah, so I'm, yeah, I'm fine Krino, with being. Krino, like, stood and, stood and fired. So I think yeah. RST3 is going to, like, march towards you. And there's this there's this crackling sound as he reaches out his hand, um, as if there's, uh, like, uh, electricity running through it or something. You can see a sort of, like, an arc between his fingers uh, mm -hmm. as he tries to, like, grab you. Um, Shocking grasp in those cantrips. <laughs> Shocking grasp. Oh, no. Uh, okay, let me... Let me give me his, his uh, melee attack. Uh, so my dice pool is that, and then uh, that. Uh, so he doesn't succeed in hitting you. Uh, he reaches out, but you manage to just like dodge uh, a little bit out of the way. You, you kind of tilt your shoulder, and he and he misses in this like this wide, you know, black droid armored grab. Um, and that's his turn, because he used a maneuver to approach and an action to attack you. Dope. Uh, so it is next PC. Who's acting next, Mabel or Zyle? Uh, I think Zyle would like to use their maneuver to also try and take cover. Okay. Um, and uh, since they are not within long range or medium or long range of this... Um, uh, I don't think they're attempt. They're gonna attempt to like shoot it or anything like that. I think, as they duck in their cover, they go. Um, We're not here to disturb you or anything else. We just want to know what happened. Um, we're just. There's no need for any of this to become violent. <laughs> uh, do you want to roll? Do you want to roll something? Yeah. Uh, like I would a charm? like to roll. Like, are there a charm or a negotiation or something? Yeah. Sure, yeah. I'll do... I think this is charm because you don't, you're not really offering anything. Like, negotiation would yeah. be like, I'll pay you to right. whatever. Cool. I'm ready when you are. Uh, yeah, give me one sec. I've got to remember to clear my dice pool because i got to roll my, my bad guys with it. Uh, you're okay. good. Okay, and good. you're good. Sadly, your pleas fall. Aim as always. Your pleas fall on deaf, deaf ears, and you take a strain as you sort of like Gosh. jump behind cover. You like cut yourself on a shard of glass or something. Hi. Um, and uh, and take a strain. I'm not doing great, but you know this is pretty par for the course. For yeah. Me. <laughs> uh, and Mabel, you're you're last. 
Yeah, uh, I'm going to help Krino su subdue this droid. Okay, so melee range. So you're moving so yeah, to engaged. Uh, yeah, I'll spend my maneuver to like get close, and I'm going to grapple with this. You gonna brawl, fellow? Yeah. yeah, Mabel's just trying to like, you know, like hold him down so that they can remove the restraining bolt. Yeah, of course. Uh, so bra brawl, brawl roll. Uh, you're good on the difficulty. All right. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I can roll my brass knuckle weapon here. Yep, you, you should be able to, yeah. That's what I can do. Okay, Ooh, there we go. Ooh, triumph, very nice. So I get a so, triumph. So uh, the failure and the triumph, uh, I'm not sure. I think a triumph is a success anyway. Um, yeah, not, it didn't I'm cancel not... me out, but presumably there's some. So a triumph is like a success and uh, extra. So I think what happens here is you don't succeed, but you get the and extra um, part right, of it. Right, because it canceled out one of the fails uh, in my roll, because I rolled two failures. Yeah, so you've rolled two failures. One of which stuck one, around and one didn't. Two failures, but one triumph, and the triumph is by itself, so the the success in the triumph is negated. But that doesn't mean mm -hmm. you don't get the benefits of the triumph in terms of the narrative. Um, yeah. So let's see what we got here. So... It it can give you like downgrades to the oh maybe that's what maybe that's what happens maybe you don't do damage but you do manage to like grab RST three and like hold them and that's gonna like reduce their next check or something like yeah, that you know that works great for do, me we can do that um, th this is usually up to you but I'm just trying to help like make decisions uh, on yeah the fly. no that that seems good I'll okay. I'll, I'll so, do that yeah so they'll take a downgrade on their next like uh roll because you're restraining them. Um, and I'll also give that they lose their maneuver next round, so like they can't move because um, they're like stuck there, and that'll be like the narrative benefit. Um, okay, we're I'm... back. We're back to the top of the PC order. Who? Yeah, who just a like quick to... question. Yeah, of course. Um, are we supposed to re-roll like destiny and? Um... Uh, we are, but uh, let's just roll with what we've got, because I think we have... Okay, I, I was we have, just legitimately we, didn't know. We, we are supposed to. I also didn't roll obligation this time, because we're yeah. in media stress of, like, a thing happening. Um, yeah, totally. So, uh, yeah, so um, I believe you have two light side, and I have three dark side right now, because uh, you used one last session. Um, that sounds right. So... Feel free to use those as necessary. But who's so who's the first PC to go in the next round? Because again, it, it changes. It doesn't matter who wants to go. Yeah, any of us can take that spot. Keep in mind oh, that uh, that uh, our boy our boy RST three will only be restrained up until his turn, like the end of his turn. So if you want to do stuff to the like restrained droid, now is the time. Um. Yeah. I don't like my weapon for this because it. The slug thrower has no like, non-lethal for sure. You yeah, mm -hmm. hurt him. Um, and I can't really call a shot on it unless I roll really well, mm -hmm. um, no. which we all know that is not uh, something that happens <laughs> Zyle, for me. Zyle's it's not style. really Zyle's style. <laughs> yeah, rolling well—that's not Zyle. No. <laughs> no could never. So may maybe the people with stun abilities mm -hmm. we should prioritize again this time. Uh, so I think I'm, I'm going to spend. That. I guess I'm going to see if I can't uh, get around behind <laughs> them. To okay, maybe so, try and access the door. So Zyle's taking this turn. You're headed to the, the bunker. Yeah, if that's okay. I want to see if I can like maneuver my way towards the bunker and see if I can't figure out. So the... as, a, as a reminder uh, of the like narrative surrounding the bunker door, uh, just what you see while you move towards it, is that there's a guy slumped against it dead, uh, first of all. Yeah, the, you um, thought there was like a force field or something. And there's like no overgrowth over the door. Yeah, like they, it's like the door has like burnt clear or whatever has tried to grow, grow over it. Yeah. Um, just so you know, might uh, be a little bit dangerous to but go. But you're, but you're welcome to take a look at it for sure. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's something worth spending my time trying to do to kind of maybe get us a little bit ahead of the curve, and the curve in the case that you know, the droid gets taken care of. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, oh, so nice. what? So what do you want to do with the the door? Because you can move there in one maneuver. You have an action. Yeah. Uh. I would like to get a look at the like locking mechanism of it, see if I can kind of suss uh, it out a little bit. Okay, so what skill do you want to use to like do that? Um, do do do. I mean, I have a fairly decent mechanics check. 
most of this group is pretty good at mechanics. Yeah. Which is great. Um, I also, let's see. My Lots of mechanics in space. I also have a fairly decent perception check. Um, yeah, uh, perception or mechanics is acceptable, and I'll give you different answers depending on which one you use. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, let's 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 go with the perception check and see how we do. Sure. Good luck. Thanks. I'm gonna need it. I believe you are yeah. set. You are set. Yes. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> complete, complete negation yes. of, of threats and advantages. It's so, a door. So you, you, while while sort of like ducking your way over towards the door, you make you make it to the control pa panel, and the thing you notice is that there, like, you'd have to like take the panel off and like look at the wiring to really tell if anything was like different. Um, so your perception check like lends you what I've already said, basically. Um, but that nothing sounds. About right. Nothing much further. Uh, who's yeah. the next? Who's the next PC in the order? Not it. Okay, so Mabel or Crino? Me or Crino? Yeah. We're, we're not very good at, at, at this, are we? <laughs> like, you'll get better at it, it, but I do need you to have input. I'll yeah. go. Because it's not up to me; it's up to you guys. Crino? Okay. I'll go. Yeah, and I'm just gonna. Mabel, gonna... Mabel currently has the has a, yeah, I'm like grappling. RST3 and sort of a like a grab from the back or what robot have you. sleeper hold. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, then I'm going to I'm going to try to stun it again, especially if Maple's holding it. Yeah, fire away. Uh let me oh. let me change the uh, dice roll uh cuz it is Got a it. short range shot. Hang on. Uh but you're good. Oh, nice. Uh, Another seven. Oh, hell yeah. Um and three advantage is not quite a critical for the C def cuz you need four. Yeah. Uh, but three advantage does give you advantage choices as like things to do. Uh, using... uh, and it was it was strain and what were the other options? Using the well, I mean, it, there's the advantage uh, threat reference sheet uh, available to you, and you can read the options like in there. That's right. Um, but there's like adding bonuses to allied characters next checks. There's negating targets defensive bonuses. There's negating environment penalties. There's a uh, minor temporary crit to the opponent or one piece of gear instead of dealing wounds or strain. Uh, there's plus one ranged or melee defense, you know. So yeah, I'm gonna do a minor temp crit of the opponent, actually. Uh, okay, all right. So you're trying to like take out a little it's disadvantage. Okay. Yeah. Um, let me roll a crit for him. Uh, Shoe off his arm. This is his first critical, so we roll. And then I'm still gonna good. drop one more strain with the other piece. Uh, yeah, sounds good. Um. So 95 is pretty high. Let me check ah, my threat chart. Good. Uh, so yeah, um, actually when you fire the stun uh, blaster, you hit one of RST3's like lifted limbs, you know, as he tries to like struggle uh, free of Mabel's grasp. And it's yeah. clear that uh, whatever the stun setting on the CDEF is, has a bit of that like electromag, uh, like, uh, uh, like ion to it. And uh, the the arm just like drops kind of uselessly to the side and and kind of looks at it sort of like in a surprised sort of manner. Um, yeah, that's so, gonna suck yeah, the it's, warning. Uh, one of the target's limbs is is basically like disabled until healed. Uh, oh wow! Let's go. Yeah. That's my turn. Okay. Um, but that's a temporary measure because it's temporary critical, so it doesn't last as long as it would. Uh, yeah. All right. So, uh, it is my NPC's turn. RSC3 is going to try and brawl with Mabel. Uh, obviously, they are at a disadvantage uh, here a little bit, so they have some negatives. Obviously, their arm is not working, and they uh, are currently in a, a bad position in terms of their uh, ability to, um, what do you call it, like fight back. Uh, so, let's see if I can get this. Uh, no, he doesn't succeed. In fact, he gets a threat, so he takes a strain. Um, as he as he uh, just like struggling, to, yeah, and, just like struggling yeah. against you, like he's lost the use of one of his arms, like he's trying to sort of make take advantage of of any weakness he can see, but he's not really like for a medical droid, you're doing pretty well, you know, versus this like eight foot tall security droid. I've learned um, a few things, yeah, you know. Yeah, and well, my and time that's, away from and the, that's the desk. unique droid development, right? Like you, you're you're doing pretty okay. Um, he doesn't seem that damaged, other than the the arm disabled, though. So it's like he still feels confident, like seemingly confident, though it's difficult to tell which droids. 
Uh, next PC. So we've had Xyle and we've had Krino. We need Mabel and Omni uh, in these next two slots. Um, well, I can go next. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I think I'm just going to keep trying to, like, wear this droid down. Like, if he's lost use of one of his arms, I'm just going to try to, like, keep brawling. Get him yeah. to his knees, get him subdued. Yeah, definitely. Um, so, where is my character sheet? You could use a light side point to upgrade one of your skills during this to try and... You know what? I would love to. Yeah. Yeah. Let's bump right. my brawl up have, to try to get this hit, guy under hit, control. I have hit you with an upgrade uh, on my sheet. You don't need to do anything. Boom. Uh, d completely negated, unfortunately. Two successes. Yeah, the, the struggle continues. The struggle continues. Yeah, the, the, the deadlock continues, I think. Uh, though he gets a little bit freer of you because you don't have that advantage from the last turn. You know, like, I think he, he is kind of, like, fist fighting with you now rather than, uh, like, grappled or restrained by you. Um, so let's go. Omni, what are you doing? Yeah, um... Where it says in the assist maneuver, mm -hmm. to it has to be an engaged ally's next action. So I need to be in the same range band as the person that I'm helping, right? Uh, yes, I think so. Okay. Um, or is it just engaged? I, in terms I'm not of actually. Sh I'm not. A, I'm not actually sure if that's engaged as in engaged yeah, in melee which... or engaged as in in a combat. Um, because it's a vague, you know, it's a vague, uh, it's term. a word that means more than one thing. If you want, if you want to, if yeah. you want to help someone, I'll give you the leeway that short range and engaged are basically the same anyway, rather than it being in like melee, if you know what I mean. So if you yeah. want to, if you want to help Mabel, you can. Okay. Um, second question. Yeah. Would assist stack if I did that and then converted my action to assist as well? Uh, to two targets. So you you can get multiple, um, uh, like circumstantial die, but I don't think you can stack assists. If you know what I mean, like you can't get two off of like one thing. But I'm not I'm not sure of the like technical rule. To be honest. Okay. Um, um in which case, I would like to um try and assist both of my combat type friends um and okay. i think what i do to do this is um i pry up one of the floor tiles mm -hmm. um and since we've been temporarily rooting power i've got a good idea of where all the lines are and stuff sure and i quickly slice in and create um uh, like a shock in a fuse um, behind RST3, which temporarily like forces uh, his head around to like get distracted by it. Okay, so um, you're like creating a distraction. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. So uh, circumstantial bonuses for Mabel and Crino on their next rolls. Yes. Uh, cool. I like it. Uh, back to the top of the order. Who's first? Violence him. Violence him good. I'm going to go first. Yeah, let's get Crino in there. Dude. Hit it up, Crino. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stand this. Just go to sleep. <laughs> zap it. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, droid. Yeah, just zapping him with the C dev. It is nap time for droids. Good to go? Uh, uh, let me check. Uh, I think, yeah, you're good. Cool. Uh, ooh, uh, success and two threats. Uh, two threats is good because it's bad stuff for them. Oh, oh no! Bad yes. threats. No, so sorry, sorry. Threats is bad for you. Yes, um, yeah. That that's what I thought. My brain, my brain was just like, what? You can uh, change it though. So uh, one mm -hmm. of the things I can do with threats is that an enemy performs a free maneuver. So uh, RST three is going to immediately move towards you. Like you shoot him with the stun blaster, you can tell it gets his attention. His arm is hanging at his side. He turns from this fight with Mabel and and rolls towards you with uh with intent. Uh, cause you're the person who has done like the most significant damage. Uh, and like in terms of priority, you're the, the threat here. Um, so yeah, we, I can use a, an immediate maneuver. Uh, and, uh, yeah, there we go. Um, hate that. He moves towards you completely not on his turn. You do six damage zap. Um, cool. and, uh, it's clear he's slowing down a little bit, you know, like you're, you're whatever this like 
stun setting on your blaster is having an effect on the efficiency of this boy's circuits, but he's he's dedicated to his role, not by choice, but by force of restraining bolt. Uh, has to follow orders, so he's yep. be trying to subdue you. That's me. Um, cool. So he's in engaged range with Crino now, Mabel. Um, uh, so who... he kind of like dragged me in there with him. Uh no. Or has he, he like moved, shed he, me? No, he moved moves. In. He moves yeah. separately. Like yeah, he was sort of fist fighting with you, got zapped, and then immediately like the threat means he can move a yep. free maneuver. So you're you're at cool. a you're at a short range once again. Uh, who's next PC? Uh, well, I can. Yeah, Mabel. Keep okay. trying to mess this dude up. Okay, so roll roll up on on him. I yeah, imagine. so I have to follow him into, into like I, I'm now okay. at short, right? So I follow him into get engaged again. Um, and then you can. And I'm gonna just keep keep trying to. You have you have a circumstantial bonus from Omni, obviously. Um, yeah. You got a success. So I get this one time. success and yeah. a threat. Yeah. Uh, so you have Disorient 3 on there, uh, mm -hmm. which I would have to look up Disorient because I'm not sure exactly what it does. Uh, give me one second while I quickly peruse my book of rules. Um, but that's four damage because the success plus your damage. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, and that's enough to, like, get at him. Um, his armor is not that thick. Uh, disorient quality 156. Sorry, I just gotta scan through here because I want to make sure I give you the full benefits uh, of your actual move. <sighs> disorient. When a weapon with disorient can daze an opponent, when a disorient is triggered, the target is disoriented for a number of rounds equal to the weapon's disorient rating. A disoriented target adds black to all skill checks he performs. Okay, cool. So for three rounds. Uh, he's disoriented, uh, which, or actually, I think that may be on advantages. Like you can activate it on advantages, but we're just gonna say it works this time, because um, mm. weapon qualities are usually like on a number of advantages. Uh, but I don't know exactly how many it would be. I don't know if it's critical or if it's different. Right. Um, okay, so we'll say he's disoriented. Uh, you whap him, do some damage. He is disoriented. Yeah, I think maybe I managed to like get him in the noggin and it like messes with one of his like scanners or whatever like yeah one of his you see one of his like rays. one of his like red eyes sort of like blink a little bit you know like flicker uh as a as the like targeting goes a little weird um it is his turn and he is going to try and punch the lights out of Krino, who is in front of him firing a cdf blaster into his chest far too much uh good let's go so let's get him okay so he's a little bit reduced. I'm going to use one of my dark side points to upgrade uh, the ability of my dear friend uh, RST3. Oh, no. Uh, so here we go. Oh, he fails anyway. Don't worry. It's fine. Whoa, that was um, scary. So uh, he fails and uh, whiffs his, his punch towards your head. It looks like it would have knocked your block off, you know what I mean? It's just like this big eight-foot-tall security droid swinging hard. Uh, but that's his turn. So uh, it is uh, PC number three. Zyle or Omni? Uh, I guess uh, Zyle will now attempt to pry the... Yeah, you want to give me a mechanics roll, yeah. Zyle? Well, let's try. Let's see how it goes. You ready for me? Uh, one second. Okay. Sorry, I always forget to adjust these things. There we, uh, wait. There we go. Here I go. Hey, a success! Woo! Did I do it? Uh, so. I did it! You, Yay! You, pr you prize off the, uh, the plate of the, the, uh, like, controls for the door. And you can see that they have some kind of like temporary power or like, you know, backup generator that is running this particular security system. Because you can see that like some of the circuits are powered, basically, like once you prize it off. Um, so you could like turn off the power to the to the door um, by sort of unplugging it. Or you could try and like uh, command it to open, you know, like hotwire it, basically. Um 
it's sort of your your call. Yeah. Uh, Zyle kind of like looks behind them, see if they can kind of catch Omni's eye and just sort of like do the <laughs> with their head if they can get uh, Omni's attention. Yeah, I'm I'm paying attention. I'm looking for ways to help everybody else rather than you know fighting. Uh, then I kind of just pointed the panel that I have managed to get open. Um, I think if I still, I don't know if I have anything else that I can do. I, I mean, interacted you've, you've with the space. You've succeeded the mechanics roll, which means you can do something with the door. It's up to you what you want to do with it. Like I, right. I can give uh, you the narrative. I, let's, but... Yeah, let's see if we can try and do a hot wire or. A... Okay, you want to try and open it? I mean, you've already succeeded yeah. the roll, so like saying I'm gonna open it. It. I want to open it. So oh. in a in a spark of you know electrical uh, hot wiring like we've seen in uh, Return of the Jedi, you know Han Solo pulling all the wires out of that panel mm-hmm. uh, on the the Just bunker. Doing very best. Um, you 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 spark it uh, a little, and the door like there's a certain light over it that sort of like flickers and fades out like this sort of blue uh, energy field, uh, and the door slides open with a click hiss kind of noise like. And uh, you can see on the inside, uh, like glancing in, that there is functional lighting, like, you know, overhead illumination, uh, and that the space has not been, like, touched by the outside. There's no fungal growth. There's no, like, anything going on. But you also have, like, a big security droid to, to deal with before, like, you can get a full good look inside the, the room that's, like, sealed back there. White. Got it. Uh, so I still make the contact with Omni and kind of point at the, the now open door as opposed to like the open panel and just kind of go. <laughs> I did it. Yeah, I mean, I every everybody door. notices the doors open because it's like a big change in the, the scenery, you know. Um, light yeah. spills in from there and like breaking the weird blue neon of the mushrooms in this space. Uh, stuff like that. Uh, okay, PC number four, Omni. Yeah, um... To you try and remove the restraining bolt again, we need to... You need to either subdue the droid or, subdue like, in droid. some way restrain them. Because you can't do it mid-combat. There's no way to, like, get up on no, them without him beating your head in. Yeah, absolutely. Um, in which case... Droids generally have their... Uh, like, programming... Do they... Would I know whether the programming was internal or why don't you give me some kind of lore role okay yeah because i was thinking i might be able to use a computer around here um i have because there's lore there's education and lore lore would be like i know this esoteric thing education would be like uh, I think it's like more sample stuff or like more uh, bureaucratic stuff. Bureaucratic stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think lore is probably what we're going for here uh, in terms of like, I know the specific designs of RS security droids in the Imperial, you know, like force. Um, so I think I think that's kind of more what we're going for. Sure. Okay. Um, untrained, but I'll give it a shot. I mean, you you have high intelligence, right? So there's there's yeah, that. Yeah, still least. three green. Uh, let me let me set the difficulty for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're good. Hey, three successes. <laughs> so what, Dave? Describe to me the lore you wish to know. I don't have any like definitives about the RS units. They are uh, a home a home brew. You know what I mean. So invent for me the thing you want to know. Okay, um, so the thing um, that, the thing about these RS ones is that you can, um, they're permanently in contact with um, their docking stations via like a an infrared sort of sensor set. Mm-hmm. Um, so you can reprogram them on the fly if you have access to um, computers that are interfaced with um, with the, the docking, docking station, and you can see that there are like banks the of co- there are the banks room. of computers here in the room that you could activate. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Yeah. Definitely. All right. So yeah, you so you yeah. learn you learn this piece of information. You're like, I can reprogram this R asteroid if I can get access to like the infrared connection between it and the uh, docking station. 
Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and um, use my manoeuvre to, like, move over to one of those um, one of those computer banks. Okay, yeah, you manoeuvre, you're standing in front of a computer bank. Could you please, while standing in front of that computer bank, give me a... Um, there's a check I need you to make uh, based on some stuff that I put in here. Um, uh, I... Could you give me a coordination? I think coordination is probably the smart one here. Okay. Yep, yeah, is he ready? Yep, yeah, ready. Look. Ho ho, success. Thank God for that. So you <laughs> you so you maneuver over towards the computer and you're about to like sort of set in to trying to figure out how to get it on and get it, get things working. And these creeper vines from the ceiling like <laughs> Like, oh, like, like, scoop down towards you, and you notice just in time, and you manage to step back. But it's clear that on the ceiling, there's this big, like, piranha plant mouth uh, that has like opened as you've come beneath it. Um, and the the as you back up and and like get out of reach of its tendrils, it sort of like scoops itself back up as if hoping you hadn't noticed this like ambush predator. <laughs> um, and uh and like closes the mouth and is very camouflaged against like the moss on the ceiling and stuff yeah, like that but, seen it before. but yeah like uh, you you just managed to get out of the way um okay we'll have to deal with that before I but you're but you're still this. within distance to to not have to move to access the computer next time if you want to like try and do it while the thing is there um yeah. kind of thing um, and i guess that's a bunch of stress for me with those Threats. Uh, uh, so three threats is, uh, let me just look at my reference. Cause again, I don't know all this stuff off by heart. Either I'm learning along with you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so three stress gives me things like falls prone or accidentally blast the controls to the bridge. He was planning to use for his escape, you know, like stuff like that, that I can, mm. that I can, you know, get, give, give you, uh, so you know what? The three stress is that there's a giant monster chilling above the computers you want to use and it's going to be way harder to do if you don't first get rid of that creature right like Absolutely. your computer's check will be incredibly more difficult if you're trying to do it while being attacked by roof vines um yeah uh there's probably a distressed fish noise yeah there's like a weird mon calamari <laughs> bubbling noise like a... yeah <laughs> and and yeah. you all you all uh well i think you know what xyle notices but the, the other two of you are too busy like mixing it up in melee range with a security droid like mando mando and droid style versus this eight foot tall hulking security bot um xyle you notice the the roof plant uh first plant's was not good problems. I'll see if I can't distract it for you without uh, getting eaten. So back to top of the order. First PC, go. Uh, the plant doesn't look like it's... I haven't put it on the order because it doesn't look like it can do anything unless you're, like, directly underneath it. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, it is an ambush predator. Yeah. How close or far am I from it? Um, so you're within short range because you're in the, in the room. Anything in the room okay. is, like, within short range. Cool. You'd only have to move if you wanted to get engaged with it, which would be directly beneath it at the computer oh, bank, right. basically. I've no, got an idea of how to deal with it, so don't worry about that. All, All right. right. If All you've right. got it, I'll leave it to you. Do you want to take a look in the room you've opened, Sile? I would case? like to do that very much, yes. Uh, do you want to give me a perception as you like walk in? Of course. Sounds like an idea. Yeah. Perception. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, here we go. How well a do failure. I see? Uh, so, like I said, about par for the course. So walking, in, I have excellent perception, and yet <laughs> it happens, you know. Um, so walking in, uh, you, this I think it's the light that gets you because you've been working in these sort of like organic light environments, this sort of like neon glow or this like dark jungle kind of environment, you know, where there's always like shaded canopies and these kinds of things, and that the light is always like these bioluminescences. Um, and so walking into here, it feels like, it feels like going back to the Chiss Ascendancy. It feels like going into like those, those like manifested corridors, like the very sort of like, uh, fastidious designs and the like white walls and the, the sort of like, uh, very, um, artificial architecture, you know, like, uh, 
because it is it is basically that you, you know it's different to the rest of vote it's sealed off it, it's preserved imperial space you know um so the bright the bright light from the roof sort of like blinds you as you as you look in um because it, it's like you know uh not a natural light it's sort of like a starship lighting sort of a light um and uh, you can see that the room is not that large it's like a it's like a small room that could be like an office plus a little bit of a storage space. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's somebody's like private area. Um, there's a bed, you know, and there's a desk and there's like, it was probably like an officer's like, or like lab head, head of the lab sort of like private space. Uh, you can see pictures on the walls as your vision, like blur, like unblurs. Uh, and you can see the, like a functioning computer, like data bank, uh, with, uh, you know, the lights still flickering and stuff like that uh, in there. I can't give you any more details because you failed the perception. But, yeah, you get you get sort of a flash of home, honestly, like a, like a flicker of uh, memories of the Chiss Ascendancy's indoor spaces. Yes, a part of them, it's a, the small stab of homesickness, and the other part that's just like, I didn't need <laughs> these memories. They yeah. Can, uh, they can fuck off. Uh, okay, so that's, like, not even a movement. That's sort of incidental to just, like, peek in there. I guess you did an action, yeah. so you have a maneuver. Uh, is it, is it not yet safe to try and go inside of uh, you that can, room? You can go in there if you want to. It'll be a maneuver. I, it's, like, short range to short range, so... Yeah, I think I want to try and go inside. Okay, so you're, you're a medium range from where stuff with the droid is happening at this point. Like, cool. moving away from the droid, you move, like, one range band away from Mabel and Krino, so you're medium distance, and you're in the, the other room now looking around at the sort of trappings of this office. Uh, cool. Cool. All right. Uh, who's next? Is it... How's, one of, how's this droid looking? Like, uh, is it glitching they, out at all? Like, one of his eyes is flickering, and one of his arms doesn't work, and... But, but you know, it's one of those things where it's like... And Mabel would know this. Uh, it's one of those things where, like, he can't stop of his own volition. Like, he's not yeah. allowed to. Uh, he has been, like, given orders, and the restraining bolt prevents him from acting on his own free will. Basically, no, um, so it's clear that he's like fairly dis like disabled. You know what I mean? Like quite quite damaged, but uh, he's still trying to like perform his function. Uh, I want to. I just want to punch him. Like, yeah, I just want to deck him. I just want to. Yeah, I just want to deck him. All right, as hard as I can. Uh, let me set the dice pool. Uh, you're good. Give All you a right. circumstance bonus because I forgot to do it last turn, and Omni gave you one. So dope. Hey, a success. Very nice. Cool. Um, and a threat. Let's go. So this is actually enough to sort of just, like, you, you uppercut, like, under the droid's chin yeah. where it would be. Like, on a human opponent, this would be devastating. You know what I yeah. mean? Um, but on a droid, it's not so bad. His neck sort of snaps back a little bit, and there's a flickering in the, like, eyes. Uh, and you can see that the, 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 he kind of powers down and, like, slumps. And if Mabel is, like, holding, you'd feel the weight of, like, the whole eight-foot-tall ton of mm -hmm. a ton of a droid just like collapse into your arms sort of thing so um, worth it <laughs> poor little guy yeah and that's that's it that threat Ugh. threat threat neutralized it, it's non-lethally uh it's clear that none of his components are like permanently damaged you haven't put any blaster holes in him or anything like that um but it's clear that yeah he's out well, that was well, great so mabel like lays him out as if he were like an injured, you know, person or whatever, right? Yeah, like, and, like on, the, on the ground, yeah. Gets him situated, and then says, "Right, so about that, uh, about that bolt." And she's like, is like looking around on him <laughs> for it. <laughs> Omni's like looking up at the ceiling, uh, at the po at the point that it that like the the uh, what do you call it? The fight ends. Yeah. <laughs> I found a new threat. Oh, I found another danger. Just don't stand underneath them. Oh, it nearly gobbled me right up. So what happens if you stand underneath it? Do you know? Pop your head right off. It'll oh. try and eat him. Uh, eat them. We don't want that to happen. Nope. Do you think you can take care of it? Well, I was just about to try and with one of the oxygen tanks and uh, let me just... Um, do you want to try and do whatever it is you were going to do, Omni? I, I know you had a plan, so I don't want to... Yeah, Talk yeah bit, um, I was looking at my stuff that I could do. I was going to try and... Um, 
like scavenge together something that I could use as a bit of like a temporary um like fungicide almost okay like yeah. using using the oxygen from the tanks from the the dudes who were who were dead and I was um, still like grabbing stuff off the corpses and trying to like combine some chemicals yeah yeah a kind of thing yeah I mean if you want to try and do that you can but uh, the the droid is like out you know the bolt sitting there waiting for your attention or crinos I would say. Um, yeah, because, I mean, the thing is, even with the restraining bolt out, it will be hard to, and it had been hard to persuade him to do things anyway. So I figure I still need to get to the... You still want to get to the computer? Yeah. Yeah, to see if we can, like... Fully separate him from his commands, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Free, free the droid. No, I like that. I like that. the so, droids. So you wanna, so you wanna try and like deal with this, uh, this creature. Yes, I would love to. Uh, okay. So, what kind of role were you thinking for the scavenging? Because I'm, I'm not up on my scavenging situation here. So. No, it's more scavenging in terms of you know I've got the um, Utini things and I know all the character is good, at, so I keep just trying. Yeah, to no, do of the course. Same things over and over. Yeah. Um. So I figure it's. You know, if you'd allow it, a um a mechanics. I'm trying to sure, repurpose yeah. some technology. So what do you get? So what do you get for routine? You get circumstance bonuses, right? You get blues. Uh, I remove black. Oh, you remove blacks. Okay. And I remove two. All right, that's great. Two trips. Um, you can you can definitely give it a go. It's not going to be easy because like you need certain stuff. But you've removed a lot of the bad circumstance that would be like the stuff is just not there. You know what I mean? Like, uh, okay. So feel free. Uh, uh, Failures, uh, unfortunately. Uh, I think this is a matter of you're like these guys definitely will have extra oxygen or whatever, and they just like don't. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they they brought what they brought, and they don't have and like or like there's a leak in in their supplies yeah. or or something like that. You know, they, they've been tampered with or damaged in, in the supplies that you need. You can't find um, precisely. Uh, so that's, I think that's kind of, that's kind of what happens there. The vines of this thing are still curled up next to its closed mouth on the, on the ceiling. Yeah, so while I'm doing that, I guess um, the other's doing restraining bolt uh unrestrained bolting yeah crino did you want to do something with the, the restraining bolt or um i was kind of just seeing what uh mabel was doing and then oh, okay omni mentioned these things so i just have my gun ready oh you you just got you still got your blaster out like yeah yeah like that's okay. a much easier way to solve this problem turn it turn it back to the lethal about. turn it back to the lethal setting you know <laughs> eh, omni was excited about something so i wasn't going to take it from him no but... of course if they get slurped up, then I'll shoot it. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, there's a there's a frustrated furrowing of fish brows uh, on both sides of their head that they can't do what they wanted to do anyway. I would like to walk up to Omni, mm -hmm. put my hand on their shoulder. I have an idea. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just shoot it with the blaster. Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, roll, flinch. roll, roll an attack roll at short range. Uh, Got it. Uh, hang on. Let me. Okay, go. Okay, two successes. Two successes. Of course so you, you succeed. So Have you, you failed a roll this entire campaign? Uh. uh yeah, Krino has missed before. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like early on. <laughs> so you, so you hit the, you hit the like mouth of the thing, um. Because, and it doesn't have the circumstance bonuses it would have for camouflage because it's been pointed out. Yeah. Um, and uh, you hit the you hit the thing, and you, there's this like weird scre like screeching noise as it like is it like burns a little bit. Uh, mm. and the the vines sort of like retreat into like a defensive posture, and it like doesn't look like it's gonna do much. You know what I mean? It's hard to say if it's dead because it's attached to the ceiling. Um, it didn't like fall. It doesn't like fall off or anything, but it's clear you've heard it or at least like dissuaded it um, from doing anything. See, effective. Ooh, well, I mean, if there'd been oxygen, I could have, uh, I could have uh, stimulated with some electrical current. Or I'm just what are you? <laughs> <laughs> you shoot it again? Yeah. Okay. Uh, roll another attack roll. 
Yeah, I mean, you 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 don't actually succeed in hitting it, but it's clear it's not going to move. The triumph is it's definitely not going to attack you. Yeah. That's the triumph. Um, Look, oxygen. <laughs> there's, like, a couple of burnt blaster holes, like, in the fungus around where this thing is, like the, the moss. Um, so there's a couple of things that, that, that are uh, relevant currently. One, the door is open. Xyla is in the other room getting adjusted to the like new surroundings and probably digging through some stuff. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, two, the computer is free to use. You got to turn it on, but it's a computer skill rather than mechanics. Um, and three, there's the restraining bolt, which needs to come off if you want RST3 to be able to like think for themselves. Um, uh, both of those, the computers and the restraining bolt are like, combined for that but uh, i think like generally people who know droids know the restraining bolt is like the worst part basically mm -hmm. like it is the thing that prevents them from being free sentience you know um and uh with that we're gonna take our break and we're gonna come back and resolve all of these fun fun things so uh see you in a little bit and we'll see what's inside the the bunker i know cast gun <laughs> I mean, it's a good spell. <laughs> why wouldn't you? <laughs> why wouldn't you cast gun? Anyway, uh, I'm gonna take us to our break. See you guys in just a little bit. Listen to Drummer Boy's cool theme song. It's coming up right now. Don't go anywhere. Okay, bye. Hello, hello, friends. Well, welcome back. We are we are once again back again. I pressed several wrong buttons uh, to, before I started this, um, and. Uh, Let's let's get back into it because we had some stuff going on right away that I had mentioned before. So, and what's the what's the deal, friends? What what do you what's your plan here? Well, I let's think let, they... I, let's talk about what Zyle sees. Actually, let's do that yeah. first. Yeah. Um. So, Zyle, in this room now that you've kind of like situated yourself, um, you can see that there's like a well kept bunk that looks like the last time somebody left it, they made their bed. You know what I mean? And and it's still well made uh there are some pictures on the walls um uh one of which looks like a bunch of imperial uniformed people who maybe like worked at this base or something like posing for a staff picture um uh, it's uh, really ticky uh in the corner there's something that really catches your eye and it is a whole tank of bacta like the healing fluid in Star Wars, you know, like the Luke Skywalker immersed in a tank, uh, healing process, that stuff. It is a potent medical resource, but it's in a big tank in the back of the room. Like how would you move it sort of thing? Um, uh, the other stuff that you see is like the functioning computer system. Obviously there's like a, a computer system that you could access that seems to have power. Um, there's, uh, I have some other stuff. Uh, looking through the shelves near the bed, because there are like some shelves, some shelving areas with like some personal items. Um, you see that whoever lived here had a collection of what could only be described as salacious novels neatly packed on onto the shelf, like behind some official documentation, you know? Respect. Um, and uh, and a, a binder of personal effects that... If you, you know, you take it off the shelf and you open it up, there's sort of like photographs of this person who was here as a human, white human male, uh, you know, military haircut, sort of graying in the, the latest photos, but in the early ones, sort of like this brown haired soldier. Um, and, uh, might, yeah, what? I was going to say, might I offer for the connoisseurs of video games, a lusty transo trend ocean mate. <laughs> I mean, you know, you, you can make whatever titles you want for salacious novels. But, uh, yeah, so the, in this binder, there's there's uh, photos and mementos from, like, this guy's service record, uh, whatever that might, that might be with the Imperial uh, forces, all the way back, like, to the Clone Wars, you know, like, some, some like, 60 years ago or what have you, like, the, the sort of, like, very old... Uh, stuff he's clearly been an imperial uh employee for quite some time um back when they were the republic you know uh and uh yeah that's that's kind of like the basic stuff that you can that you can see in the room um the the back to being like the most weird and valuable like maybe this guy had health problems or you know there was some sort of 
reason that he had this thing to himself. Uh. And uh, that's all I seem to see. It's just some yeah, I mean, knickknacks and if, this if you, is basically somebody's office. If you want to act access the computer system, you're here for a data chip, right? Like, I would like to do that if possible. I'm going to call out of the room and be like, hey, there's a, there's a computer over here without... A, a deadly chompy monster hanging out above it if you want to take a look but i'm gonna go ahead and see if i can get started on it first yeah sure uh so um walking over to the computer system you can access it because it it is like an open system you know it's like running you don't have to like slice it or anything um but uh, there is, like, a passcode on a lot of the data that you would have to, if you wanted to, like, sift through what was on this on this system, you'd need to use a computer roll to, like, slice it. Uh, yeah, the only person, was, the only person was slicing here is Omni. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to, I think if it's the case, as I'm kind of looking it over, I, I'm going to kind of uh, step back from it and come back out of the room. Just, there is, um, to... Azile, there is a data chip uh, in oh, the Oh, well, PC. I'll take the data chip. Uh, yeah. which, like, is what Omni said you were here for, a data chip yeah. from, like, the sealed bunker. Yeah, um, I'll take so, it. So you unslot the data chip, and, like, the, the glowing parts of it, sort of the lights turn off on it as you unplug it, um, and you just tuck it away, or...? Uh, I'm gonna bring it out. Okay. Uh, hand, it, hand it to Omni. Okay. Since, you know, we came here on their assignment, we'll make sure they get their, their stuff. Okay, so you hand over oh. the data chip to Omni. As Omni is doing what? Because we've got the computer, and we've got the... The restraining bolt happening simultaneously outside while Dial is doing this stuff. Um, yep. Um, I would like to prep the computer to send some new um, orders because knowing about RS units, mm -hmm. the the restraining bolt overrides. So as soon as they manage to um, remove the restraining bolt, I'll send it straight in so it doesn't reactivate the self defense. Ah, uh, got it. Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna wait we until we want to try and time. Take the take the restraining bolt off and then send your orders like immediately, sort of. Yeah. Thing. Um. Okay. Cool. M Mabel, how are you sort of feeling about all this? Like the droid is, you know, they're they're unconscious. Uh, they're of imperial design. You know, they have the same sort of functionality in terms of their history as like you would. Um, mm -hmm. Is this sort of like a like a sympathetic thing, or like I just want to get a read on like how Mabel is like vibing here? Well, yeah, when Mabel was like, "Let's take off the restraining bolt," it wasn't so that we could like get information out of this droid or whatever. It was like, "Oh, yeah, you have been like, like stuck subjugated, here. yeah, and you're trapped here, and you're like a person who could you know leave if we take this restraining bolt off." So yeah, she's looking at it as kind of like a medical intervention, mm -hmm. essentially. Um. And so now that we have this fellow subdued, I think Mabel is trying to go about getting the restraining bolt off. Okay, so uh, I think- with, I Or think without Krino's help. With him being uh, subdued, there are great benefits to like your circumstance bonus, like doing this with mechanics. Uh, Krino would be able to do it uh, fairly fairly simply, I think. They have mechanics training. Um, so maybe they're, they're helping you, Mabel, sort of. Or I'm helping- Or you're helping them. them or yeah, that works. Uh, I, I'll add a blue um, for your help. Uh, and then Crino, feel free. You muted, Gabe. That makes sense. Yes! Uh, you ready for me to roll? Yeah, yeah, hit it. Okay. Uh, Very nice. Two to advantage. Very nice. So you had an advantage because he was he was knocked out, like knocked out, and you have an advantage because Mabel is helping you. Um, oh, perfect. So four. And then... Uh, I know that's what the blue die are, basically. So like, oh, you would have failed sense. if not for help. You know what I mean? Got it. Um, and uh, you manage to prise off the bolt, and there's like a there's like a hiss click sort of noise as you as you pull the thing off, and uh, there's a sort of like flickering in the uh, like deep in the eye sockets of the RS unit. Um, that sort of like you can see that it a reboot or or a, a sort of like systems diagnostic is immediately being run at like the removal of the the unit mm -hmm. um and uh, this would be where you want to do your computer skill omni probably to like send new orders um what yeah, what are you what are you asking of this droid like what's the what's the command line so to speak like with this chart charging port infrared so, um 
if it's if it's cool with you, Andrew, I think this is probably something that we've collaborated on in the past, like a um, like a basic code base that I could load into things to enable or like um, stimulate uh, personal reflection, like using mm -hmm. like using her her knowledge. It's kind um, of like a free of will, the other like free a free tribes. will program. Yeah, yeah, yeah like it, a. Become your own person is like the order that you are given. Yeah, it's like an introspection type thing, which maybe they haven't had access to before. A different kind of um, self-diagnostic, self-diagnostic of the soul. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, that works for me, Dave. I think it's so great. So computer, <laughs> computers role-wise, this, is, this isn't going to be super easy. This is like an average role. Um, I'll give you help from Mabel. Uh, because the the program is made with the help of another imperial droid, you know, um, but also uh, that uh, th like there will be different behavior depending on if this works or not, basically. So like, I mm -hmm. it's still a role, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, and this is sort of like a mini flashback, right? To like this idea that we have made yeah, this exactly, thing in exactly. the past and like that, we're that's the help I'm a, that's now. the help yeah. i'm applying this is like a computer program you made sometime while you were in vote city together when omni got the new slicing tools and was probably real gung-ho about it um and uh in case you came across these kinds of things in a ruin you know like this uh. oh would speaks binary apply here because i'm directing an npc droid yeah i think so um okay awesome. so what does that give you uh, so uh it's can... another boost another boost okay done okay freedom freedom for droids <laughs> <laughs> two blank yellow sucks ass that's so bad yeah that's such a bad roll <laughs> such a bad roll. oh no such a bad roll so uh you execute you execute the command and like things seem to deploy in the way that you like expect them to um the droid uh uh is still unconscious so i think maybe doesn't receive all of the orders or what have you like there's a like a timing differential that you miss by like a, a small window um but i think there's a little bit of it that like gets through you know what i mean because it's not an abject failure you haven't got like a bunch of failures and threats here you it's just a failure you know um so uh our rst3 is just unconscious for the moment like still running whatever diagnostic uh he needs to like get moving again um because of all the like st stun strain and so forth but they are free of their restraining bolt and the you have executed this computer command that you plan to and you can't tell one way or the other sort of like how it went yet it's it's probably an experimental one Oh yeah! Since I just got this license. Exactly, stuff. you're you're like you're like doing your first like DOS prompt, you know, like command line. This is like the first time we've uploaded stuff. this to anyone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that could be bad. What if you just gave them a kill all humans over? <laughs> you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure Omni is very confident in their programming abilities. Yeah. And they knew they knew they knew how the RS droids operated. Like they had the knowledge. So. I don't care. Just, this should yeah, work. fortunately, the only human here is Mandalorian, so yeah. he'll be fine. Mandalorians aren't humans. I they mean, aren't. I think they are, aren't they? I mean, I, I don't. I guess it depends on what you define as a human. I, I mean, guess, like, there are a lot is, of. Is human just Earth? Like, no, no, Earth, human is not. Earth. Human is not just Earth. No, because there is uh, no Earth. Human is. Uh, do they look like a human? They're human, basically. No one like, calls Mandalorians human. Yeah, but that's because it's a culture, not a species. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. yeah, it's it's a it's a whole thing. Mandalorians <laughs> are human, but it's a culture, not a species. Yeah. Um. Did you did you have to pick like human at the beginning thing? Or did you yeah, pick no, I had, I had to pick Mandalorian. It was separate. Yeah, because it's a culture, so might, not a species. <laughs> I don't know. You might it's... not like look like a human, right? Because there are Mandalorians that aren't human. I guess you could be a foundling. If you're an adopt, not... yeah. If you're like an adopted yeah. Mandalorian, yeah, y'all like, never see my face. You can't, you can't do that. exactly. We don't know I was, yet. I was trying to we're ascertain assuming, that, not but we don't know. give you tell you about. No, it's funny. They're they're literally called Mandalorian human as the species. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, thanks for uh, making it more difficult. Escape than being asking. obtuse. It's, yeah, it's just escape, you know. <laughs> hey, at least I went and checked. I was yeah. I, I I was going to lie about it until I realized that <laughs> I was actually wrong. 
Yeah, I mean, there's gracious of you. There are there are a lot there are a lot there are a lot of like species human, but uh, yeah. like uh, culturally something from whatever planet they're on, like Corellians. Like Han Solo is a Corellian, um, oh, but but he's true. but he's human. Uh, hey. And Luke is from Tatooine, but he's human. You know what I mean? How is, um, is that ta- Tatooinean? I mean, like, the people from Alderaan Tatooine. are also human. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot and of that. Coruscant? I mean, Coruscant doesn't really have a native species because there's. This there's, is fair. This is very croissants. fair. Coruscant. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, people from anyway. Tatooine are Tatooinees. Tatooinees, yeah. Um. Anyway, it it's like sidebar. You know, aside. <laughs> um. The droid stuff is dealt with, but it doesn't appear like they're conscious or going to be conscious immediately. You know, like you don't, you're not going to need to talk yeah. to them right now, um, kind of a thing. Uh, so z- the stuff in the bunker is like what is important, like important at this point, unless other people want to like look at other stuff. Um, do I mean, does there the- appear to be anything else besides this bunker? Like, uh, it was there an extra door or anything inside there the are, actual room? There are in the, in the actual room, no. Um, but there are there are corridors that lead elsewhere, like on this level. But a lot of it is like covered in rubble or like sealed off in some way. Like the floor is clearly bigger than just this room and this small office. But it's it would it would take a lot of time to access. Same with uh, the previous two floors that you had to go down the elevator shaft to get to. Right, like you went from floor one to floor four. There are two other floors with the elevator door is sealed. You know what I mean? That it hasn't been like weld cut open by the previous r- raiders of the location. Um, but but that's up to you if you want to like expend the effort to like either move stacks of collapsed rubble or you know weld cut open doors or what have you. You have the data chip and you've handed it to Omni that, that you're here for, um, basically. Was there anything else on the computer? Well, there seemed to be a lot of things on the computer, but I couldn't get past the firewalls and passwords. I think you'd have to do all of it. That being said, there's a lot left of this place. And I mean, I'm always up for a bit more exploration if if the rest of you are. I mean, something that I would note, Omni, um, is that the easiest way to figure out what everything in this building is or was is probably that computer system, right? Like there's going to be some kind of directory or like, uh, you know, whether it'd be worth your time or whatever. Like there's a lot of, yeah, absolutely. Um, well, before I get into, uh, uh, slicing the thing, why don't we have a little bit more of a look around, see if, uh, our Imperial officer was the type to keep, passwords written in their diary or you know that sort of thing oh yeah this post-it note on the desk that says my password is imperial's rule sometimes especially office workers i mean you're right yeah um feel feel free to like make a check if you want to uh, perception or um... i think I'm, i'm prepping the computer again um there are people who are better at searching things out than me I don't want to get and do everything. Mm-hmm. You uh, you interested in seeing if we can't poke a few holes in some of these walls, uh, Karina? Might be sure. more more to discover. Like, well, <laughs> I mean, I think I think uh, between you and Mabel, <laughs> you're all, and you've myself, already got an E11. Like, what are you planning to find down here? Like, I've... another one. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do you can't, some You can't dual wield blaster carbines. <laughs> let's do uh, some reasonably. Exploring. Uh, yeah, let's just run around. I don't know. Let's, sure, let's, uh, let's search around. So, other other than like the the sealed bunker room that you've opened, there's a corridor that leads off of the like because the lab is sort of an L shape around a central rectangle. Uh, if you know what I mean. I actually have a shitty map for this. Let me let me. Hey, sh- ooh, you like? I'm sure it's not shitty. Let me take you to it. Here it is. Um, oh my god even if it is we will love it here it is so uh we did this in the gm prep when we were making this place because it was easier to visualize um oh yes this is a great shitty map so in terms of where you started uh it's like here this is the entrance so you came in here went past some administrative offices hit the elevator shaft here uh 
and then down the elevator shaft, which would be here, uh, you Are came you into this. the map? Because I can't I see am, the yeah. pinging. I am. Oh, there we go. I see it now. Um, you came in and went down this, like, L-shaped corridor. This, like, jagged-looking wiggle is where there would be glass, like, plates. To... Right. This was the broken glass. Yeah. Uh, and then there's sort of like the table and the cage and like computer systems and the, the like droid, uh, like charging bank. Um, and then sort of down here is where the bunker is, uh, which we didn't draw because I didn't need to. Um, right. So the office is like down here somewhere. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and then uh, there are other there's another like branch of this uh, laboratory that leads off in like this direction. Um, but hang on, I'm going to get my pen out. This here is like a collapsed rubble pile. You know what I mean? Like the roof has come down or like caved in or, or what have you. So like the rooms beyond are inaccessible. Uh, right. So there's like more corridor. There's more here. corridor. Yeah. That leads that way. But there's like a big pile of rubble, um, that is, that is sort of like collapsed in, um, uh, you know, if you were looking for like arm strength to move stuff, uh, if RST three can be negotiated with once they're conscious, you know, like they're strong boy, you know, and capable yeah. of doing things like that. Eight foot tall. I mean, heavy lifting they would also have data about like what is past there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like what what the layout of the building is, like these kinds of things. Um, uh, though they're a security droid for this particular sector, so they're not exactly like knowledgeable about everything. Um, but yeah, so the office is there and, and that's kind of, that's kind of where we're at right now. Uh, also through the elevator shaft, like if we go back, sorry, I'm, I, I hope this is helping to visualize rather than just being obtuse. Um, no, this is, absolutely. this is delightful and wonderful. Uh, so if you go back to the elevator shaft, looking directly up, like there's the corpse on the ground in the elevator shaft, looking directly up, you can see two more like elevator doors where the elevator would open at if it were here. Um, mm -hmm. cause it's kind of collapsed underneath the feet of the guy who's like fallen on it, you know, like, this is where I put an elevator. Um, yeah. If <laughs> I had, had one, um, but so, but so there are two more like doors where an elevator would stop above you before you get to the one that was like arc welded open way at the top, which is where you came in. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to have to do more of these shitty maps. This is, this is, this is good. I like this. It, yeah, this, this is, is good totally shit. helpful. Okay. So the shaft is like we're at the bottom here, and then there's like two other yeah, entrances exact, that exactly. we haven't got to, and we came yeah. from up here. So there's there's like three non-functioning like ele like non-open elevators, and then one that is in sort of the lobby. This one being the one that works. Um, and then yeah, there are two levels that are not drawn here, basically, mm -hmm. uh, that you could access if you use like the arc welder that the guy has, or you know whatever if you had the skill to to do so. Um, but yeah, so right now it's the, the, the office is like the main thing and the computer system and the, and the tank of Bacta, which to Mabel would twig is something incredibly valuable. Yeah. Um, so with regards to this droid who is yeah. out cold. RST3, yeah. Um, could I like use mechanics to try to like get them booting back up to like speed their recovery uh yeah i'd even let you use medicine because you are a droid you know what i mean like uh if you wanted to use medicine instead um, uh well i've got mechanics if you want to use mechanics this I'm, purpose. I'm, I'm yeah. also done with that yeah you can heal them uh you and also, i have a i have also, a patch kit yeah i was gonna say you have a patch so. kit so in fact you don't even really need to use mechanics if you if you expend the patch kit you can get them running basically like uh mm. is is a thing. it's like a stim pack you know yeah yeah exactly um so if you want to do that, you can definitely. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's. I'll just do that. Sure. Um, so I'll use a charge of my patch kit. So I like fish around in this little kit and pull out a couple of like things, and I have to like plug something into them and like. Yeah, I mean, take a got, little battery on. To... You've got like a little data pad and a battery, and like a yeah. you know, you check the systems through with your own like diagnostic thing with the patch kit, and then. Like, uh, there's some remote repair you can do with it. It's it's like sort of it plays itself, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. um, but it is it is a typical system restorer, um, you know, f factory defaults sort of sort of a thing. Um, and uh, RST 3s eyes, the red ominous like like glow, f uh, like like flicks back on. 
uh, and he lies there on his back basically for a couple of moments as like things reboot and you can see like that he's sort of like opening and flexing his fingers you know there's like a little movement at the knee like as he like mm-hmm. runs his own like uh, like boot diagnostic um, and eventually he sort of like palms the ground and pushes himself up uh, to a sitting position and like turns to look at you um, without without really saying anything there's just like this assessing sort of like red glare um, yeah and Mabel like ex- puts a hand ex- on his, his shoulder or something his, his expression is like built to be angry you know what I mean like yeah. he looks yeah, yeah. imposing but then like slanted I mean we have art of him <laughs> yeah let's the eyes are deliberately oh yeah we do have the art don't we let's get him and I'll show it to you again but here he is look this is RST3 it's like the yeah. evil version of eight. Yeah, he's like a spooky red-eyed stormtrooper helmet-looking droid with like the big imperial That's pauldron right. things going on, and yeah, art by butt prints, by the way. Yeah, a real friendly fellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My uh, new best buddy. Yeah, so you put a hand on his shoulder, and I think there's a moment of him being like, uh, uh like unknown entities, you know, in in my secure space. Uh, mm-hmm. Like he remembers what he was doing. Um, yeah. He's like, uh, had no choice. Like, it's what I was built to do. And it's all in this, like, echoey, like, baritone. He has this, like, very mm-hmm. deep, commanding voice. Yeah, and so Mabel just says, well, of course, yes, but uh, not what you have to do now, certainly. There's a momentary silence, and you can almost hear the, like, whirring of, you know, a hard drive kind of, like, thinking um and and he goes like no i don't have to but what else to do you know like th- this is what i was built for yes security well security of this space and he waves his hand around and he sees like all the fungal growth and stuff and he's like there's a moment of like huh you know like hesitation of like He's kind of failed already. Like the, the yeah. There's like all and this. Stuff. Mabel will say as much. She's like, well, there's not really much left to secure. And uh, everyone who was here working is gone. Uh, has been for years. Yeah, I think I think he sort of like pauses, and there's a moment of recollection as he says, like, last boot, something like three years two days ago you know like like it's been a long time since he's like been mm-hmm. active before this they all left all gone i'm afraid and you've done quite admirably certainly uh but there's only so much we can do in service of people who no longer want or need us can you give me some kind of like reassurance, like you know what I mean, like some kind of social yeah, well, skill role? Am I here? charming this I think, robot I think at this a, point? I think it's a charm. You know what I mean? Like he's got his free will now, so like if you convince him, he can like help you or do things. Mm-hmm. Um, but he also has his free will to ignore you. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so. And I, my agenda here isn't so much to like be like give us the data codes no, or whatever. I'm more like, yeah, you can be your own you're just person trying to, You're now. just trying to make him see that he doesn't have to stay here. Yeah, like a failure for Mabel would be that he's just like, duty is everything, must, you know, yeah, I mean, rah, rah, Imperium, etc. For sure. Uh, so yeah. I'll, <laughs> uh, a failure. I'll fail to charm him. A failure, unfortunately. Um, you know what? I didn't mention this, but let's go. Let's go again. Do you want to use a light side point? Because oh, uh, absolutely, yeah. If, you if definitely, okay you with definitely that. would want to do that. I feel like so. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah it's yeah. Like the most important thing. I keep forgetting about this. these. <laughs> so let me let me upgrade one of your roles. And it's something that's very like personally important to Mabel. Yeah. I, I should be reminding. I should. I, I, should I should be reminding you guys more often. And I know it's already a failed role, but let's roll it back and and upgrade it and see if we still get well, a fail. Thanks, Elf. Yeah, of course. Uh, so is it all set? Yeah, yeah, you're good. Okay. Hey, there we go. <laughs> a lot, lot of threats. A lot though. of threats. Yeah, you, man, you managed a lot of threats there. Let me just look at my threat chart here. Agrees while punching you in the face repeatedly. Uh, no, right. I should be my own person, and why is it my own person? I hate you personally. Honestly, I've already figured out what it is. So, uh, RST three sort of nods. You know, there's an incline of their like big necklace, almost necklace, sort of like head. Um, right. 
and uh, they state, um, I don't have to stay here. Not in my mandate anymore. You know, like sort of, sort of like going through their own code. Um, but they say, and they look over and they say, but charging station inoperable. As if like whatever code Omni has like pushed earlier that didn't work has resolved in this threat, which is that like he only has so much battery life. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. the, the guy, the guy doesn't have anywhere to recharge uh, that isn't here, and here is broken um, by whatever like code. Well, we do. Uh, me and some of the other droids who are left behind have formed a bit of a community. It's not much, but we do what we can for each other, and we might be able to keep you charged up, have some resources that we can share. Certainly all of my own credits go towards maintaining things. He says, uh, others left behind as well? Almost all of them. RS units from this building? Yeah, and she like thinks, and uh, probably not. Not from this building, I wouldn't say. Yeah. Like, this has been very, very limitedly accessed. Um, but it's clear, like, he, he has com comrades, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. to a certain extent. Whether they're operable or not, you can't possibly tell, like, without looking it up. I mean, or, we'd have to search this building. Yeah, and... or, like, looking around. Um, and so, yeah, maybe Mabel like will like say a, that. A long term, uh, uh, you know, mission for Mabel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so she says, Well, you're the first I've found. Um, others might still be here, but the building is in disarray. Uh, and and he, he states, like, always perform my duty best. You know, like, like him being found first makes sense. Right, know? yeah, he's the good one. Yeah. Uh, yes, well, I'm quite sure that you are an exemplary uh, civil servant. There's a moment of, like, acknowledgement, you know, silent acknowledgement. If he had an expression, he'd probably, like, express some degree of smug pride. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Um, but he says, like, what are you doing here? Well, uh, what value, what there is a value left in here. We hoped to uh, secure and take back to he raises his the city. Big, he raises his big, like armored metal arm, and points at the open blast door, and says, "Like already access secure area, place where most valuable things are." Unless, and because he like looks around the laboratory and it's like rancor is gone, you know. Yeah, like, like all the all, all the, the stuff is chemicals in. are busted up, like yeah. Yes, well, Omni and she like indicates Omni uh, has a contract with a salvager who might, you know, take some things from here, and we're making a living. Uh, it looks like he's. It looks elements. like he's about to protest at the idea of like salvage because it's imperial property, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and then he states like, he kind of goes like, "But you can't," and then stops mid sentence and says, "And says, um, if abandoned, then I see no problem with this. You know, like there are no imperials here." Yeah. Oh, there are very few imperials left at all anywhere. Well, so a lot has happened. Great deal has changed, yeah. And she kind of like gives him a pat on the back, yeah. you know, like it's, it's going to be a it's lot at to this talk point, about. Like he gets from his like sitting position and like stands, you know, this this like sort of very mechanical motion of like getting up to his feet again. Uh, his shoulder moving way past your shoulder, like yeah, I by, have to like reach up, to yeah, get, by ding, a, ding, by ding. a good by a good margin. Um, and uh, he, he stands sort of at a at a like a droid attention, like arms at his sides. Uh, and states, uh, dangerous locale, um, overgrown, outside, always been dangerous. I'll wait here. You take me to where I might maintain myself. I'll protect you. Well, that's much appreciated. And he just, like, stands and waits. Cool. Well, we have a buddy. 
Yeah, he looks like it looks like he he's basically made the deal with you. That's like, I'll I'll bring you back through the jungle because you need me. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean and purpose. and you charge me, basically. Yeah, exactly. Like, so yeah, well, mutually beneficial relationship. Yeah, yeah, he is more than welcome to come back and hang out with the robot pals. So do we want to look at the computer? The other thing I would mention, yeah. Omni, is the data chip itself has data on it, theoretically, if you want to, like, access and or look at it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's probably related, so I probably slot it back in. Yeah, but but we saw told you that the data chip was for flight records uh, of, like, Imperial shipments and so forth while they were here. That kind of thing. Um, yeah, I just have a terminal here, so I might as well. Yeah, so just so look you so it. you walk into the like bunker area where I imagine Zyle is doing something like sitting on the bed or you know like hanging out, uh, briefly. But feel free to tell me what you're up to. Um, and you you roll over to the computer where there's like a chair in front of it, you know, like a nice terminal. Um, it's probably the best terminal like you've seen since you fled Moncal. Um. And, uh, because, like, Vodian stuff is always, like, a little bit janky. Um, unless it's, like, high-level Utico stuff. But they, they don't let randoms use that kind of thing. Um, so you sit down at the, the computer. You slot the data chip in. And, and, okay, you've got, like, a, you know, a virtual keyboard in front of you. And uh, do you want to try and, like, hack hack the sort of, like, data that's available to you? Hack the planet. Hack the planet, indeed. Um, yeah, I, I'd like to see if, um, Zoe would like to help me by having a look around the room and seeing if, you know. You can find <laughs> some passcodes or something. Uh, Zyle, are you try. interested in helping Omni? Uh, I'm down to do that, yeah. I'll add a boost or whatever yeah, it is, yeah, yeah, yeah. or if they want to add a boost to me, I don't know which of us has the stronger... Post it soon. Um, I'm happy to. Either way add, works for me. I'm happy to add a boost to either of you. Hang on, I will set it up. Uh, oh, let's see. Let's see if you there. if you hack or fail to hack, and then we'll see if we can find the password. But boost either way. Um, you first, Omni. Yeah, go ahead, Omni. Okay. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Speaks binary does not apply here. It is not a droid. It is a computer. Just so you know. No. My goodness. Okay, <laughs> there is a there is a yeah. small difference. Hey, look at that! All those advantages. You can clear some strain if you want. You can like increase. We have one strain. <laughs> well, but the other thing you can do here is increase like a specific ally's next roll by a boost die using that advantage. You know what I mean? Like no matter what that roll is, you can create a situation where it it works better just because you have it. Oh yeah, because um, Cronin was gonna try and look for other places, right? Yeah. So I'll add a boost to that by like having undo partial partial schematics of the building be part of the. Uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, we'll talk about who rolls that later, but a boost to looking around for other stuff in the building. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, nice. Done. Um. So you 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 hack the planet on this computer. There's a brief flurry of uh Mon Calamari suction cup into fingers uh across a virtual keyboard. Um, as uh, sort of account stuff comes up and you run sort of the slicing chips through various like inputs and uh, you get past the, the login of this, you know, this major in the Imperial, uh, in the Imperial forces here. Um, and uh, you find like, yeah, the layout of the building. You can see like what is on each floor and like, or what should be on each floor. Um, I can tell you that, uh, it gives you a, a basic layout that level one is like admin, you know, like paperwork and so forth. Like when you come in, Just, yeah. uh, level two is a testing facility of some kind, like, uh, you know, some sort of experimental floor. Um, level three is, is marked as interrogation. Uh, and Ooh. level four, level four is marked as like restricted, restricted access. Like, uh, you know, on, on like personnel, who have the, the the code to get in basically like down here is the the secret area where you are right now um uh yeah so i i guess my question really is um i know we've kind of put two and two together that mm. they did something that, that changed that rank or but what's the 
general purpose of this place because i don't think we ever really oh got that. so one of the things one of the things that you find while you're looking around in the computer systems are um details for a cybernetic replacement limb or cybernetic enhancement for an incredibly large creature um like a like a rancor sized creature uh as if they were trying to create some kind of like forest clearing beast of burden you know like b buzzsaw style or like you know nerve staple the rancor so it follows orders or whatever like that kind of stuff um like trying to trying to like create a usable workforce of large creatures um, which would make a hell of a lot of sense because just brute forcing it with machines would be really stupid on this and planet. And super difficult, yeah, on this planet. Um, so having, like, living organisms to clear stuff is, like, I think they were, they were planning on doing some clear cutting, and this is where they were developing, like, not just whether that's going to be, you know, chainsaw uh, cybernetic implants, but also, like, can you fit an E-Web laser cannon on its, like, other arm for combat purposes or, you know, like, these kinds of things. The Imperials are well known for mad sciencing their way through some of this stuff, you know. Um, and uh, they're they're also well known for ambition beyond scope uh, to a certain degree. I mean, look at the Death Star. Uh, Absolutely. All right. I mean, I'll download as much as I can onto the onto spare data chips. Yeah, I guess. of course. I, you can you can uh, grab all of this this data. There isn't a, an exact floor floor plan because I don't have an exact floor plan to give you. Um, uh, but what there is is a map of Vode, like the actual planet, like the 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 oh, layout of the, the layout of the planet. Something you haven't had up until this point. Um, like you've had your scanner, but you haven't had like a sort of topographical layout of the planet um, done from like a scan done from space. Uh, it looks a little bit old. You know what I mean? Like it's clear that it's from three years ago, and like growth is going to have changed in that time, and it's not like continually updated or anything because it's not like a, a link to a satellite or anything like that um, but it would be useful for like mountains and settlements and like stuff like that that could be like noticed from a from a great distance that wouldn't change over the course of a long time um, yeah overgrowth and stuff will be different like for instance it marks this place on the map as like a building like a series of buildings and stuff that are still like structurally sound. You know what I mean? Like the, the course, overgrowth yeah. hasn't grabbed them yet on the map. Um, but uh, yeah, so you have that, you have a map of Vode. Awesome. I'll pop that in my assets. Uh, yeah. Fantastic. And if I just mark down that I've got uh, the data chip and then plus, because I assume some of this data is, more valuable than just the chip on its own i mean or... well i mean have you looked at what's on the chip do you want to look at what's on the chip yeah okay it didn't he didn't say like deliver the letter without opening it no he so didn't but it's one of those things it's like it's what you're gonna hand over you know what i mean um so looking I'm at curious the... not to do it. i mean looking, looking at the chip you do you do see like like opening the folder on the computer for the chip that you have like plugged in um uh, you do see that it is uh, like flight plans for a bunch of different like imperial coded ships uh, that all have you know designations and and code names and so forth. Um, even the shuttles have names, <laughs> you know, like kind of kind of kind of thing. Uh, and all all of the all of the imperial names are always like these you know grandiose like uh, you know intrepid or like you know if titanic was the name of a star destroyer you wouldn't be surprised you know what i mean like it's it's all those kinds of names um and you come across while you're looking through the data chip information on some flight plans that are like somewhat more maybe somewhat more valuable to a scrapper on vode than others for instance there's data on a star destroyer an imperial class star destroyer that actually crashed here like on the planet there was some combat above vode during the rebellion uh and a star destroyer has like made landfall violently uh on on vode uh and the flight plan like shows a record of it because it entered like the vodian atmosphere as it was going like the transponder like pinged off of whatever uh you know like local flight situation was recording all of this stuff 
Um, and uh, it's codenamed Sunderer, this this Star Destroyer. Uh, like a, a, an Imperial class Star Destroyer called Sunderer. Um, and it, it stands out. And the reason I'm not making you roll is because it stands out because everything else is like a shuttle of supplies, a shuttle of supplies, uh, you know, uh, a troop transport, uh, you know, a, a relieving garrison, uh, an Imperial diplomat, you know, like these, these things kind of like coming and going in small ships. And then there's like this capital class ship that is like entered the atmosphere, which makes no sense basically. Um, so oh sun, yes, yeah, Sunderer. Um, and, uh, that's all you can get out of it. There's no further details. Uh, though there are, there are, there's the possibility of like more information. Um, but, uh, it's clearly like locked off. Okay. Um, so I've got a better idea of how valuable this is when he tries to tell me it's like 50 credits. Oh, well, I mean, he's already said he'll help you out with parts from his scrapyard, right? Like that's already been established it's not like he's undercutting you but it's not exactly what he told you was on it you know what i mean it wasn't like i'm gonna find star destroyer salvage it's like the flight paths of various imperial whatevers you know like i heard he's clearly heard a rumor or something that like that something had crashed out there and was looking for data on it um but yeah so that's what you find what's the standard star wars replacement for oh my god I can't. It's a trip. I can't. <laughs> by the force. I can't. I, I mean, by the force by is the definitely force. used in some books for sure, um, but also like whatever you want. You know, you're a Mon Calamari. It could be a Mon Calamari thing. You know. Yeah. Um. Oh, gulp. <laughs> I've tried my best to do surprise gulp. I was. I was sure to think I mean, of words good. this time. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Like a, a loud enough surprise gulp. Whoa! <laughs> to uh, <laughs> to alert the others, I found something uh, really interesting. Um, but like, as I was doing that, um, you I kind what, of... <laughs> Everything all right over there? And this star destroyer somewhere on the planet. What? Or parts of one, at least. You mean to tell me that some sort of an imperial ship crashed on this planet and is now being overgrown by mushrooms. Exactly and specifically that, yes. So when are we going to what when when exactly are we gonna go in and check that out? Because I'm I'm definitely interested. I mean, between that and the, the, the lost Jedi temple, I mean, I could explore this planet for like the rest of my life and still keep finding new things. Just so you know, well, just so you know, Zyle, uh, it was not, it has never been specifically referred to as Jedi anything. It's like force. I apologize. That stuff. Yeah, yeah. No, but if Zyle says Jedi, that's fine. Like, you know what a Jedi is, it's like to a certain degree, there's rumors and so forth. I just yeah. wanted to, I just wanted to like clarify, it is not necessarily Jedi related. Yeah. Well, then it's just an ignorant assumption on Zyle's part. Cause that's what I, that's what I figured. Just, you know, I just wanted to make sure that it wasn't, uh, it wasn't an Aki mistake, I, that it was a Zyle mistake. You know what I mean? Yeah, because uh, I don't know neither the Zyle, so. <laughs> well, they see yeah. the force and they're like, Jedi. Yep, exactly and specifically that. Um, I suppose we could ask... Once uh, I take the data back to our Java friend, if you're interested in part of that, though I think mostly it's going to be scrap. I mean, yeah, that's okay. I mean, ultimately, uh, it's uh, just a cool adventure. Something what I'm here for. Something to note, Mabel, um, because you would know this. You're an Imperial droid. You know things about Imperial <laughs> stuff. An Imperial Star Destroyer is like, it's like a skyscraper-sized thing. You know what I mean? Like it is a capital ship of of immensitude. You know, um, and uh, like all star destroyers maintain all of their own stuff. Like they're very yeah. they're very um, infrequently resupplied, right? Yeah, so they're meant to be like a self. They're kind of the it's like a building self sufficient. You know what I mean? Like yeah, self sufficient capital yeah. ship exactly. Um, like theoretically, could people like still live there? If systems are operating, it's possible. Um, oh. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, like, if Sick. like if they have the supplies to do so. 
Um, but the oh, and there's the fog wardens as well, isn't there? Yeah, they are out there. Um, oh, what if they're like part of it? The the other thing is like in terms of uh salvage for imperial like robots or imperial like scrap in general. This is like saying there's a crashed galleon and you'd like to and you'd like to steal the treasure. You know what I mean? Like a Spanish galleon. Mm. Like his, mm-hmm. his, historically, this is like this is big. This is like racks and racks of blaster rifles. This is yeah. you know like stormtrooper armor by the by the dozens. You know what I mean? Like if 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 this stuff is like in a position that it wasn't like burnt up on reentry. Um, it, it is like the supplies for several thousand crew members, um, Could ride including around droids, including droids. But it, it's a big undertaking. Obviously, like it would be, it would be impossible to. Like, yeah, retreat. the four of us aren't going to go salvage a star destroyer on no, our own. No, no, you are not. Yeah. yeah. Well, why not? Why not? I mean, you could go get some choice pieces if you knew what they were. But it's one of those <laughs> things. that's like you're going to be walking past piles of metaphorical gold you know as mm-hmm. a, that you just yeah, can't carry out of there if you've played the like latest um what was it the the latest star wars one with um cow in it yep. yeah oh. they're doing that aren't they they have all those people yeah like so, those massive teams salvaging a star destroyer salvaging imperial wreckage yeah yeah this is like hundreds of people um Probably going to call the friends from off world like, to come and sort this out. But going with them, I think, is really interesting. Yeah, that's certainly something to look into. Um, we'll be getting paid for this regardless, but um, that does sound like a pretty good adventure. <laughs> this is just the taste. This is one building. We are hundreds of times bigger than this building. And designed to be self-sufficient in ways this building wasn't, there would be things on that ship that would be very useful for me and my friends. Do we Parts know that and resupply that we might need. We have to consider that other people are aware of this ship before we do anything. Someone must have found it. Scavengers. People that have found a new home. We walk in. We're intruders. It's why we scout first. I mean, doing your due diligence when you walk into a place is always uh, advisable. I mean, not that I'm particularly any good at it, but I mean, I'm I'm trying. I'm 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 improving, little by little. And I suppose Mabel, could that's you, why. Could you roll me a lore check just briefly while we're having this this like inner party RP? Uh, this, oh yeah, for sure. I'd like to know if you know something. Uh, no, you do not. Okay, wonderful. I, I'm feeling rather ignorant on oh, this good. one. You don't, you don't have any specific details about the Sunderer. Um. Uh, I suppose that's why they hire individuals such as yourself, Credo, to protect salvage crews. That's true. I would... I'm glad we're on the same side. Be a big job. Uh... Let me just, and I'd like slide over to you through the comm link and stuff. Um, we've got more big like, data on this place, um, which I just downloaded. Yeah. So, you know that there's a uh, testing facility on level two and that interrogation is on level three. Um, it's clearly a mixed purpose building. You know what I mean? Like secret stuff and prisoner keeping, you know, and, and that kind of thing. But, it's it's very like black site as Mabel mentioned like a session ago. Sort of they don't really have any details on it. Oh, would it have potentially um, another area that would have been guarded by an RS unit? I mean, there's an there's an entire interrogation block. Like, surely that is secure. If you could get uh, to that charging station, that would be fantastic. The, the same would go for like a testing facility. You're going to want like droids that can put themselves in the line of fire. If something goes wrong. Yeah, exactly. If that one's now inoperable, there's probably plenty more. Yeah. Something to consider is that like, you can't spend days out here. You don't have the oxygen to do so. Um, yeah. so it, it becomes mm-hmm. like, what are your priorities sort of thing? Like, um, or, or you can go back and sort of come back if you want to, but 
these day trips are kind of starting to we need to figure out a better a better way to supply ourselves so that we can do longer trips yeah. spend money to make money as they said back on Mon Cal. is that we what they invest say? in some stuff uh yeah we used to specifically spend money um there were these oysters which it turns out there's something about the composition of metals in a credit chip it doesn't have to be loaded uh, if you feed it to them over the process of 10 or so years, they will um, metabolize it in such a way that they will create pearls with a greater density of precious metal. We never really understood why, but that's, yep, that's where that comes from. That's a cool little so. detail. I like that. It's fascinating. If I could give I you didn't... inspiration, I would. I, I've never heard anything like that before. That's, that's truly spectacular. Thanks for oh. the, the bit of knowledge. I've learned something new about, well, a species that isn't mine. Don't. Yeah. And we can buy bigger oxygen tanks and respirators as well. That they taste after. And they taste. Um, Are they really metallic -y? Yeah, that kind of tended to be the problem. So mm. you could make the beautiful pearl. Uh, wow, how do you pronounce pearl? Pearl and a kiwi accent. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to do some research on that one. That one's a, that's a fun amalgamation of sounds there. Uh, and then you, the rest of it kind of goes to waste, or do you just keep using them? And oh, well, I guess you have to kill them to get the pearl, don't no, you? No, that's that's the thing. You could um, actually we bred a species of fish, which would do the collecting for us, and they fed on the meats of these clams so everything was fine because if you go down the reason we didn't go down there ourselves is uh they could be. vacuum seal themselves that's how they metabolized so if you accidentally got a bit stuck in there Please. you're not getting it back out it's uh it's pretty gnarly yeah we called them uh Cred clams for short, but the scientific name is a lot longer. I like that. So, are we gonna explore the rest of this building or what? Yeah, are we it's, gonna go it's, back? it's your call. I mean, uh, again, like, I don't want to limit your exploration by being like, you're running out of oxygen, you know what I mean? But, like, it is a, a fact of life on Vode that trips are only as long as the oxygen canisters you brought with you. Uh, yeah, it's probably like we can decide one thing here. You can, that we wanna you can maybe, make our way you towards. can maybe look at like one more floor before things start to get like nasty. If you can get the door. What were our options again? We had an interrogation. So you had an interrogation or a testing facility. Uh, so level well, two, kind of level two is a testing testings. facility, and level three is interrogation. I'm kind of interested in the testing facility, but I imagine if we want to retrieve more RST threes, they probably up in interrogation. I'd imagine. When we come back, RST threes like eyes light up, and he goes like, "There are no other RST threes, only other RS units. I am the only RST three. You know, like de well, guys, desig that's your designation, right? I'm, I'm still learning. I, we don't really have a lot of droids in, in chess. It's a kind of a very insulated society, and so I'm, I'm kind of learning as I go what." what the uh, cultures of other people are like. RS, RST3 clearly runs like a file not found on the like mention of Chiss. Like, it's not a thing he knows about. Hmm. So my apologies if I've, well, if I'm offended, I'm sorry. I'm not capable of being offended, just correcting. If you were to refer to RST1 or T2 as RST3, they would not respond to you. <laughs> you know, like... No, dude. No, dude. Great. Well, I imagine if there are more RS units, interrogation seems like a place you'd find them. Affirmative. There are RS units in inter the interrogation block. Two, in fact. Wheel? Do we Anybody? have... Do we have enough oxygen to deal with them if they get frisky? 
We can come back. We keep saying that about places, and then we don't go back. I think I think RSC three says like if they are operational, they will remain operational for a few more days at least. It's been it has been a great length of time that no one has operated this facility. If they are functional, they'll remain functional. Yes, yeah, for sure. Doesn't, right, the testing doesn't, facility doesn't people. seem in a rush. You know what I mean, but like sort of yeah, because like if we go back, then we could bring some scrappers with us to look around here and just we could yeah, get I that mean, objective done, and we could kind of for, align it and I mean, be like, how much money do we make? I mean, for instance, you've got a tank of Bacta, you have no way of moving. You know what I mean? Like, oh, certainly, it's just like it's like liquid gold, <laughs> you know, like uh, in terms of its value. Um, I'm 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 more than happy with that plan. If we head back, bring specialists, split the. Sure, you want to like look loops. for help, like helpers to split it with once you can bring people back to help. Well, yeah, yeah. like uh, Omni's uh, business partner, Bo a little Bo Usak. green, yeah, yeah. Bo Usak the Jawa, yeah, green yeah. Jawa friend, or uh, you or tell, the you could tell or the Deveronian merchant who sold him the slicing gear. You know, you've got like two yep. sort of skeezy, uh, you know, scrapper merchants. Yeah, but I like Jawas more. You can you can tell that Zyle's slightly grumpy at the fact that we are once again putting off another place to come back to <laughs> instead of just sticking around and looking ourselves. Okay. So they keep getting Quite cut safe. off. They're an exploration person. Like they want to stay stick around and explore, and they are not really getting the opportunity. Yeah, to do but that. They're so also, they get a little bit. They're also about young it. and impulsive, and the rest of the group has better sense. <laughs> you know, like it's kind of the the vibe. You know, they, I, the vibe I get off of Zyle. Yeah. They're they're an eighteen year old that gets grumpy when they're told they can't play with their toys. So yeah. Yeah. by all means, just carry the back to tank by by yourself. <laughs> I just like get it on your like, back. I'll get it up the up, up the thing. <laughs> like trying to get a, a sofa up the stairs, except it's a massive tank. Well, I wasn't like, talking about trying to shot. take stuff; just seeing what's here. So I'm here. I don't want to suffocate. So what I'm hearing is you're headed back. This is what I'm mostly hearing. There's a little argument, but like generally, you're gonna head back and come back here if you want to. Uh, I will admit to We're you. We're not leaving I, this place without at least like a full twenty-four hours of oxygen last time because I'm tired of this. <laughs> I will. I will admit to you that I haven't written floor two or three yet, so it's real convenient mm. for me if you. Oh leave. no, I understand, but um, yeah. Yeah. That's just Zyle saying, like, next yeah. time we're going to be prepared like, to actually spend like, some time. I can improvise, like, the best of them, you know what I mean? But I, I will admit to you as a GM that I haven't I haven't written those floors, so I, no, I can't. Like I said, this isn't, this isn't like, I'm not going to sit here and th pitch no, a tantrum course. or anything. No, of course. This is just Zyle <laughs> I'm, stating just... for the record that they would like to be able to actually invest real time in exploring spaces. Yeah, of course. Instead and, of coming and going and, and bringing, coming and going. Bringing the appropriate supplies, always a good way to do that. Um... I uh and I'm not and I'm not saying like uh, anything except being clear with you about like my GM stance from an out of game perspective. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I'm not uh, either way. I can make it work. Um, so okay, so you're headed out. Um, RST three is gonna come with you. You have a rope already that's like hanging from the the. Um, yeah, that we repelled in on. Uh, from the from the elevator shaft. So you can climb back up that with ease. There's no need for checks or anything. Um. The, is it rope or is it like tensile? I mean, it's the, it's cyber. that it's that it's that stuff that Luke uses in you know a New Hope to like repel across. It, like, it feels wrong to call it rope. Nothing well, else is cool. It's like a, it it's like cable, right? It's cable, yeah, more than yeah, rope. like metal steel cable. It's just um, like it just feels wrong to say. Yeah. That's all I'm so about. so anyway, you you make it you make it up the elevator shaft. Uh, RST three comes up, like takes the rear, uh, and you can hear like the frame at the top of the elevator shaft creaking as this robot like pulls himself up the 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 uh the cable to like get out it's he weighs like more than double any of the rest of you you know what i mean like like very very dense thing and very 8 feet 8 feet tall um like takes up most of the elevator door like cut out as he like stoops through to try and get get out um and you're back on the the administrative floor uh, in the the bank of elevators, like non-functioning elevators. Uh, there's the hallway that leads like back to the front door, where you'll have to like climb out the the roof or like prize open the door. I think you ended up getting the door open, so 
Yeah, uh, once we were on both yeah. sides of it, we managed yeah. to get it open because Omni didn't want to climb. So you can, yeah, so you can get out, you can get out the door. Um, uh, which I don't, I'm not reproaching. I'm not reproachful so, here. So well, before, <laughs> before, before we we allied our our disappearance back to Vode City, um, when you're wading through the water, uh, on your way out, could everybody give me a co coordination check? Uh, oh, no. We sort of go whale. Hang on um, while I set the dice. Oh, I want to fall down. Okay, do it. I am untrained and have agility one, nice. so this is going to go only, well for it's me. It's only one purple, so it's possible. All right, a bunch of people fail. Um, <laughs> so Crino is the only one who really like notices ahead of time, but those uh, fluorescent mushrooms that were here when you came in have. Di like disappeared they've like gone or like melted away and y you see coming through the like black goop that is the water here the fins of several zarglers uh coming to like attack the ankles and and calves of those of you who are like wading it's through the water dinner time yeah uh these big these big like bitey fish um, oh, and uh, I'm not I'm not gonna turn it into a combat encounter because literally just like you run and you get out of the water you know what I mean like it, yeah. it, but the coordination check is do you get tagged by zarglers uh, and those of you who do which would be anyone except Crino like taking a, a bite out of you are gonna take four strain <laughs> as you are uh, trying to hot foot it out of there as quickly as possible. I, I have a lot of strain that I have not been able to clear. You so get this you get you get nibbled you get nibbled on pretty badly. Like uh, even Mabel, who's got mechanical legs, you know, like the teeth. Mabel like, finds it all off. highly distasteful and upsetting. Yeah, yeah. At, at the very least. Yeah, it's just like, oh, we could have avoided this. Ugh, you know. Um, clearly, with the fails, it's because I taste the best. But yeah, you the fact that I roll out. really poorly has made it difficult to clear out strain. <laughs> like I have eight strain right now, and I haven't been able to get rid of if any you, of it. If, but all, but all it takes is like you guys deciding to not do anything for some some period of time, and it can be cleared. You know what I mean? Like it's very easy. Still, that's a lot in a single um, mission. But yeah, it's I rough. mean they're nasty. They're nasty fish bites, and they're in gross black goop water. You know what I mean? So like. It has the potential. Mabel spends the entire trip home talking about all the different kinds of parasites like that we possible, could have gotten. Like possible infections, yeah. yeah. Um, from listing from the, all of the symptoms from yeah. the the non nascent, fully grown zarglers. Uh, they don't take long to grow, which is why I was like, we'll give them zarglers on the way out. <laughs> yeah. I um, wish I could catch one. I want one for dinner. Yeah, I mean, if we if we'd remembered as well, but like we made that knowledge ship, we knew they were there, and then we just were. kind of. Um, which, which again, like, I know it's week to week that we play, but I don't want to remind you of every possible threat. You know what I mean? No. Um, it's a funny outcome anyways. So, so yeah, you, you, you get, you get a little torn up and RST3 takes his job of like security through the jungle fairly seriously. You know, like he's happy to like provide his role of like being a strong boy, you know, and like pushes through, pushes through the dense undergrowth in a way that would be difficult for the rest of you. Like, mm. literally just walks through it like a tank, you know? Um, yeah, he's able to just, like, crush his way through yeah, a lot he of kind stuff. Yeah, he kind of just, like, pushes through. Um, and uh, during this, like, as he's, like, scraping his way through all this, a lot of the, like, weird growth on him or, like, whatever gets, like, very scraped off or, like, his paint, like, the paint chips a little bit, you know, as he, as he like, pushes through this stuff. He looks a little, like, war worn and torn, um, but not, like, worse mechanically. For, for that um, and you make your way back to vote city uh, where uh, there are the there's the stall for Bowsock if you want to like hand stuff in you get you all get disinfected as you go in through the you know the um, the like sprayer um, one at a time uh, you see some like Utico uh, individuals like uniformed individuals headed out with a flamethrower and uh uh, like a condenser droid uh, a as you're passing them. Uh, they don't look like they're going to talk to you or say anything. They're just like a crew passing the other way uh, as as you guys are like moving through. Um, and you're back. Awesome. Uh, Omni, do you want to stop off at Bowie Sox place on the way in or are you headed to Madame Harani's first? 
no, I want to stay here. I've, I've got this stuff, and I'm excited about all these ventures and opportunities. Okay, so you gonna work on together. So you you head towards the Bo Bosox stall, where he has his various like scrap all piled up and lined out, and various you know organized rows for people who know stuff about various scrap parts. Uh, to the rest of you, it probably looks like junk. I don't know if anybody is with Omni um, during this. Like, did you guys separate or? Uh, Zyla immediately went to go get something to eat. Okay, so hungry. Straight... and they're mad that they 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 order Zargler if there's any on the menu. They're mad <laughs> right. that they didn't get yeah. to catch any. Chef, Chef Stack's got Zargler on the menu, so you you can you can get some for sure. It's this weird um, porous fish, you know, like it's kind of got it's like a fish taste, but there's like sort of air pockets in it in a weird way. Gross. You know? I'm here yeah. for it. Yeah. Um. Hmm. All right. Swiss cheese of fish. What about awesome. what about Mabel and Crino? Are you guys with Omni, or are you have you separated to do other things? I think Mabel probably is showing RST three around, mm -hmm. especially to like where all the other droids have where we have our little like droid commune. Yeah, um, and there's some casual talk where you know he asks for your designation, and like through the jungle, you like have a little bit of a conversation as he like pushes through all that stuff. Um, mm -hmm. And he finds it weird that you have like a name, you know what I mean? Like rather than a series of numbers that people seem to refer to you as, like having seen yeah. that interaction. Um, yeah, and Mabel doesn't like push him on anything. She's very, very like patient and slow with kind of like bringing him around this different yeah. way of operating. And he so. se he seems to be like taking to it. You know what I mean? Like there's a there's a degree of like acceptance that whatever he was doing before is like not gonna work. Um, mm -hmm. And a little bit more than like droids that you've known previously, he has this mentality of like, okay, things are changing. Like, what do I do to remain relevant? Sort of thing. Um, mm -hmm. Because he has like pieces of that code that you and Omni developed that like helps yeah. that helps ease that transition in the way that like psych meds might help a person. You know what I mean? Um, kind kind of thing. Uh, all right, Omni, Crino, are you with Omni or are you or are you elsewhere? I just want to. Crino's just going to the bar then. All right, uh, so Madam Harani, to... so yep, chill yeah. with chill with Zyle, eat some Zargler, whatever. Exactly. Um. So, uh, Omni, you roll up to Bozok stall, and he, of course, is like, you got the thing? You know, he's asked you every time you've come through, basically. Oh, what thing was that again? Oh. I know you're messing with, I know you're messing with me. You, you know what it is. Yeah, no, you're right. And I pop it down on the counter. Ha-ha! <laughs> and he, like, Raises up a little black glove Jawa hand and and I like put my hand over it. <laughs> okay. I don't think you're being entirely honest with me. Were you? What do you mean? Deal's a deal. You give me the chip, and I give you all the parts you need for fixing your your junker down there, or some of them at least. What I got. But my little ship. I, I care for very deeply. He listens, yeah, he's like, okay. <laughs> but I think you might need some people who are specialists in the same way that me and my companions are when you go and like lead in to be quiet just because I don't want to tell everybody else yeah. that we found a Star Destroyer. Go attempt to scrap a star destroyer. He like he like goes like whoa 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 sh 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 shut up you know like yeah. and like looks around and like eyes the like Utico guy on the corner you know and like the various sort of like people around the stalls next to him. He knows you're being quiet, but he's still like, don't say that. You know what I mean? Uh, and he says like, okay, so you looked at the chip. All right, you like I heard some stuff about the, I heard some stuff about the thing from some people who said they found some stuff in the jungle and I thought maybe the flight plans would have something about you know where to find the, the bigger pieces uh and, and he like reaches for the chip and he's like I could help with you know you participating in my company's like scrapping of the various uh remainders if that's what it takes well that's all that I'd be mean. This doesn't need to be a single transaction. We'd like to be part of that crew. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, yeah, let me. Uh, it'll take me a few days to get 
like you know the logistics together and let my people know what we know and, and so on. But uh, I I could see I could see you being included. Sure. All right, then we could discuss the sharing of the numbers and the credits. Uh... Well, I mean, over you're, you're, a drink or something uh, when your you're, partners you're, come you're, down. Your part of this is going to be small. You know that, right? Like, you four people. I'm going to need, oh. like... <laughs> yes. Oh, and speaking of which, there's still some useful things down in that bunker. We didn't have time, but... You no, saying, no. You saying I, I should go take a look? We could take you back there. We know how to get past the security... But there are things we don't have, though. Okay. Are you an arc welding specialist? I'll, I'll, uh, I'll get a, I'll get a few of my folks from the button and and bring them down surface wise, and we'll we'll take a look. And we'll split it again. Yeah, yeah, sure, 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 sure. And and he like reaches for the data chip again, you know, like trying to like scrape it over the table, like. <laughs> yeah, I take his hand and I shake it. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like business a, with you. yeah, he's like, all right, like, cool, and then just like takes the data chip and like tucks it away, like suspiciously looking around, like hoping nobody's heard like this exchange. <laughs> or it was clear, like his in his conversation, that he was rushed to like get you to shut up. You know what I mean? Like to a certain extent, like we shouldn't be talking about this at the yeah. market stall. Yeah, he um, said yes a bunch of times. Under pressure, which you might not have done. In it's a true. Situation. Yeah, I mean, in I'm terms, of, yeah, it works. Um, so we'll end it there for today, my friends. We're 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 running low on our time, so we'll we'll call it there. Uh, the Star Destroyer Sunderer has been uh has been located, quote unquote. Uh, and Bowsock has agreed to let the others uh, join in. Uh, the other thread that we didn't get to today is that Takeda is still uh you know, ready tomorrow to take them to go meet with the fog wardens. Uh, so there's that still to look forward to next week, probably. I feel um, like it's going to take a bunch of time to coordinate scavenging stuff. Oh, of course for a star destroyer. It's like scavenging a fucking skyscraper. Like I said, it's crazy. Um, you, you got, you got to get a lot of tools for that. Anyway, let's do shout outs. Let's start with Aki. Go Aki. <coughs> Hi everybody, I am Aki. I can be found over on Twitter at Mix Genie in a Bottle. That's M-X-G-I-N-I-I-N-A-B-O-T-T-L-E. My entire streaming channel, uh, streaming schedule can be found on my personal Twitch streaming schedule, uh, channel, uh, twitch.tv slash Shidari Aki. That's S-H-I-D-A-R-E-A-K-I. -E uh, tomorrow is the premiere of Let's Get Wild Mount over on Critical Bard's channel at 1.30 PT. I'm very excited. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I actually got a, a very important delivery today that uh, <laughs> I'll be able to reveal for tomorrow. Um, but yeah, uh, obviously I'm up to lots of other stuff too. So just check out my Twitch channel or my, my Twitter if you want to know what I'm up to. Uh, wonderful. Uh, let's have Dave next. Dave. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, so much for coming and watching. This is another awesome episode. I love so much, and I appreciate those of you who contribute to the world building of this place, because there's just, when you ask Elf a question, it's just, it leads somewhere. So <laughs> interesting. Honestly, honestly, like, I the Discord is crazy, and the GM prep streams, like, there are so yeah. many. There are so many co GMs in this. I just run it. You know what I mean. There are like so I wish I could who... join, but I'm not allowed because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know everything. Uh, yeah. um, I should make some player only channels for you, uh, and and like uh, secret away the the back the back end of it if you want to participate in the community for sure. Yeah, it's it it's cool. It's just you know it's one of those things when it's when it's all over. I want to look look through all the things i'll make a little star wars book, but we don't call it star wars because otherwise george lucas is going to come over and beat us up <laughs> um for my personal stuff um i'm on twitter at dave underscore dot underscore human um i'm still working on my dmg thing um but it's big and it keeps getting better bigger i'm like what if to introduce all of this stuff i make a starter adventure idiot yep. <laughs> it's scope creep dave don't let it happen don't, don't let the yeah. scope creep out of your control yeah 
too late. Okay. But yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Uh, let's go with Gabe next. Gabe, go. Hello, I'm Gabe. You can find me at Gabe James Games uh, across the internet. Um, working on a bunch of different things. Uh, you can find me Tuesdays on that Bronze Girls channel at 6 p.m. playing through a D&D campaign, Shikard. Uh, we just had our first episode. Um, I asked... <laughs> I asked someone if they could speak to beavers because I was a druid that could speak to animals. And then I realized the subtext of my question afterwards. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Having Good a great job. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, a couple other things. You can find my schedule stuff on Twitter. Wonderful. And last but not least, Andrew. Andrew? Uh, I'm Andrew. You can follow me on Twitter at Commuting Crow. Uh, and you can check out Evil Hat Publishing for the eventual release of my game, Girl by Moonlight. Yay! Uh, and of course, there's me. There, I'm Distracted Elf. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Distracted Elf or on Twitter at Distracted Elf for all my like personal stuff. Uh, I also run um, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden on D&D's channel at 1 p.m. PSC, also for Roll20. Um, and I do GM streams for Desperate Gamble where we come up with all the wacky things that our players are going to run into. Uh, on at 1 p.m. on Thursdays, uh, P PST that is. You guys um, created too many really good things, and now <laughs> all I want to do is stay and nearly die so that I can explore all of them. I mean, we're gonna have to write the other floors of this laboratory. Um, so uh, the other thing is that tomorrow I'm I've got the second episode of a two shot on roll for it at I think 11 uh my mountain time so like 10 pst uh on roll for it where i'm playing a an occult expert detective in a spooky mystery murder case um and what else oh and i released my first pu published thing on the dm's guild uh so uh distra the distracted elf's guide to otherworldly patrons is available on the dm's guild uh it is about warlock patrons and one of the ones that's in there is actually uh yeshimon's patron siora uh so if you want to read monster. about stuff read about stuff that that we've written on a tuesday writing streams because on tuesdays on my stream we do writing streams yay so we're gonna be doing that i this know week as well. nothing about my own patron it's amazing. um okay so that's that's it for me as well uh in a uh, quick shout out for roll 20 because i need to do that too uh roll 20 if you like what we've been doing and you also would like to draw uh, terrible pa MS Paint maps uh, uh, on uh, on on w white checkerboard. Uh, you can on Roll Twenty. Sign up today for uh, Roll Twenty dot net, where you too can visualize things uh, on uh, virtual tabletop and help your players understand the space that they are in, even if they don't have tokens or anything to do with tokens that so they have to move around. Hooray! Uh, that's it. Roll Twenty dot net. Sign up. We'll see you next week. Bye, friends. Bye.